All right. So uh, welcome everybody to uh, the Wonka, Willy Wonka, a post-achocalyptic nightmare. So um, it's uh, this is a Savage Worlds game, and um, it's one that I've run a couple times over the past. Uh, you know, like you know, like now it's been almost like seven years, like in various various times, not too many times. So, but it was it was a real fun challenge to try to get this into uh, Roll Twenty because. I am no expert with Roll20, so we'll see how well, well this goes. But I have a bunch of fun new things um, that, I'm, that I'm trying out, so. So the first thing is, this is what, and, and I do apologize, I, I like have both up. So I have, a, I have a player's view up, and that's what's doing the streaming, and then I have my view up. So sometimes I might do things on one versus the other. Um, so, the first of all is the um, in the, uh, the the background for this is you guys are all the all the kids except for the Uncle Joe uh, but these are you are the six who who um, six of those who went into the uh, the factory many years ago probably about like you know twelve to about twelve years ago and the the thing is it was like it was such a sad story because. Wonka had just given the factory to Charlie. They're coming up there. They did their great glass elevator. They're flying around. He gives the factory to Charlie. He says, go home and get your family. So he goes home to get his family. And right at that moment, the vermicious canids attack. They, they come in. They attack the factory. That's the first place they hit. They take it over. They spread out from there. They've basically taken over all of England, all the country, everything is just um, sort of in a, in a terrible state. There, there is still some things going on, like Veruca still has, um, you know, sort of connections. She has like a, a family uh, business and things like that, but it's nowhere near uh, the, the, you know, the, the state it, 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 of what it was. Um, you, you know, so, um, First, we should actually then change the, uh, you know, basically realize what the image should be, not this happy, idyllic view, but merely more, more like this. Oh. So, <laughs> nice. so this is what Walker's factory looks like now. You have the, you know, it's crawling with vermicious canids and, um, um, and, and it's, like I said, it's just a, just a terrible situation. So, so, and Charlie has been like the sort of the, the, the head of this, this group that's been trying to sort of always sort of get back to, to Willy Wonka. And then, um, one day he's approached by a familiar face, a somewhat scarred face with glasses, um, Someone who uh, many of you knew at the time as Slugworth, but is actually just a you know was was actually Willy Wonka's uh, right hand man. Of course, Slugworth has sort of snapped a little over the years, and he now just thinks he's Slugworth. So even if you try to talk to him by his real name, he's he always thinks that he's Slugworth. So, um, but he he finds Charlie one day, and he basically says to him that he he knows he knows that 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 Wonka is is at the factory and he knows uh, you know approximately where he is but he can't go in himself he said it's that he's got to um you know and and, he, and there's only one there's you know it's like I can't go in myself there's there's it's just it's too dangerous and I I hope that I could go in and find or find somebody to go in, but no one knows what the inside of the factory looks like. The only people who know what the factory looks like were the ones were the kids who were there twelve years ago, and that's you, Charlie. And so I need you to gather the others together and um, and go and into the factory and find Willy Wonka and free him. 
So, um, so Charlie, what do you want to, how do you want to, what do you want to do? How do you want to contact your friends and contact the people? Obviously Uncle Joe is still around and, and with you, so. Um, well, I'm going to go ahead and, uh, Uncle Joe, because I, I assume that being part of the, um, the underground, I believe is what I'm a part of. Uh, I've become the leader against the mid. So with Uncle Joe by my side, um, I think our first call, I mean, as much as, you know, we didn't like her, Veruca probably would have the resources to get the rest of the gang together better than we could. Ding and Charlie. Well, uh, I have uh, made it my priority to keep track of all of those, all of you other, all of the other kids, because every one of them has a lifetime supply of chocolate coming their, their way. And uh, if I can somehow acquire some of that, I think that would be, uh, that'd be great. I could probably really turn that around and make a pretty, pretty tight profit. So I've already co-opted Violet's chocolate. Uh, you know, and if you turn around behind me, I think I got Violet's probably standing behind me looking pretty, pretty menacing. <laughs> I mean, we need to trade for more gum, right, boss? <laughs> <laughs> well, you know, uh, you, I still think you had that uh, piece of gum from uh, 12 years ago, right? Been stuck behind you. the air. <laughs> World record. Universal. <laughs> Interplanetary record now. <laughs> the, 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 last, <laughs> the last I heard, uh, Augustus, uh, I believe he's uh, driving trucks somewhere in, uh, in uh, Europe. And uh, I think uh, Mike, Mike, I think he's got a Twitch channel somewhere, so we can probably find him. He's probably got a pretty big uh, internet uh, footprint, so we sh we can probably find him pretty easily. Well, that sounds good. Is there still an internet, or oh, that's a fair question. Is, is the yeah. world is the world destroyed? <laughs> no, no, they, there there is an internet. See, the uh, the the Knids did co-opt a bunch of people, so they're they're as well. So so they're just. You know the internet that's out there is the is it's a very it's somewhat restricted. Mike actually probably is involved with a um, uh, like a like a a rogue pirate you know pirate streaming station that uh, that, that, that 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 sort of puts out um, you know sort of anti so Canid resistance. Yeah, yeah, yeah it's Canid resistance. So. So actually, he's um, yeah. I didn't get a chance to put that on there, but but he and you know there's some others that the name of the association. There's been a lot of um, argument about what the group should be called. Uh, some people um, believe that it should be you know called the Wiping Out Nasty Canids Association. So uh, so you can <laughs> see what that. <laughs> but. Um, <laughs> So, uh, so good job, Veruca. Yeah, she's like context thing. Luckily, Augustus actually is not, um, is, um, is, is not actually in another country. He's actually not in, in England right now driving some, uh, some trucks. So you can get a hold of everybody and you can bring everybody together. So, um, give a little bit of background, but what we're going to do is we'll do a, an, an interlude to sort of give everybody a chance to give a little bit of uh, um, um, one. Uh, oops, oh, see, I knew I was going to do that. I was looking at the wrong stream, um, looking at the wrong thing. So, um, one card here. Mark, before we tell any stories, so. Oh, yes. are, are the Canids everywhere? I mean, is society going on and there are they're in charge of it? Have they destroyed it? What's what's the state of the world so we understand they, our 
It's a little bit, a little bit like this picture, but not quite as bad as all that. You know, it's sort of like uh, Wonka's factory was really ground zero for the whole thing. So um, everybody is, uh, um, it's it's sort of suppressed. Things aren't things aren't great. You don't have access to a lot of 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 you know goods. Um, you know, like I said, like kids, kids opening in the streets. They're not really out and open in the streets. You know, you've probably seen one. They actually do. They, you know, there's they 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 do a lot of their stuff mostly sort of behind the scenes. So you've seen each of you has probably seen a Canid maybe like once or twice. You know, sort of they're they basically look roughly human sized. Some of them. Um, you know, they have, they sort of look a little like that one in the corner there. They have these sort of ropey, uh, appendages. If you look at the handouts here, which I can, I can, uh, see there actually, well, again, I'm going to do it on the, uh, Canid flyer. On the Canid flyer. If I show it, there we go. Then it shows it for everybody. So, and then you can zoom in on it a little bit. Also, if you like do the up, click in the upper left there, it can then make it a little bit bigger. I don't think it gets much bigger than that. But anyway, so that's sort of what they end up looking like. Um, and so everybody's been sort of you know beaten down a bit over the years. Some people have had more or less success in life. Baruch is doing okay. I'm My, doing better than okay. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> So I own a sausage uh, factory. <laughs> <laughs> so, um, so I dealt everybody a card, which we can use for um, the an interlude. And I can, you know, when you, if you want to know what it is to uh, what, what your card suit means, then we can, I can tell you, or if you know, if you have a book handy and you or someone wants to go first to sort of talk about what they want to, uh, you know, sort of a little bit of their, what they've been doing uh, up until this time, and also to give people a little bit of background about the about yourself. Deal away. Uh, everybody should have a card. Is everybody a card? Yeah. So since Charlie brought everybody together, or you know, Charlie was the one who started the whole process, and Veruca was the one who did a lot of the calls, I think either one of them should go first. Well, I guess I'll jump in. Uh, so uh, Veruca was dealt a diamond. Uh, so uh, I guess I get to tell a backstory or something. So, um, My, the Salt family fortune is definitely taken a hit. Uh, it turns out that uh, one of the Salt family's uh, major customers was the Wonka factory. They bought a lot of salt from us to make salted caramel. Uh, and uh, ever since these canids have come and, uh, you know, made a muck of everything, it's definitely uh, pinched the... Uh, you know, the, the, our financial situation. So we have been trying to find other customers for salt, but uh, you know, it's just that salted caramel was really uh, quite a good seller for Wonka. And so anything we can do to get rid of these canids and uh, get back in uh, the money-making business is, well, I just want business to be good. So. So Salt Enterprises took a shot to the nuts, huh? Yeah, well, <laughs> well, that, that was Dad's problem. I have I <laughs> I am going to fix this problem, and I'm going to cram so much salt into that caramel that uh, people are going to make a, quite a quite a puckery face when they when they bite into it. But we got some we got some ground to make up. Years and years and years of a uh, canid. Uh, 
occupation has definitely uh, cut into my uh, revenue stream. So that's my goal. I need to get back, uh, get, get business flowing again. So just as Mike's about to speak, I'm actually going to step in front of him, push Veruca aside and say, no one cares about your bad business practices, Veruca. <laughs> I own the largest hog factory in the entire state. It is great. We sell sausages and and brats and dogs. And, and I'm eating a corn dog as I speak. And everybody loves our food. And yes, the Canids put a hurting on their business for a while, but we are very smart. And we fix, we fix everything. And now we're even better than we were before. And we do need more salt, Veruca, so you must get your business in order. And that is my greatest love. It has already been conquered. But I would like to get back into the factory and get some of that chocolate. There's a lot of sodium in that sausage you're eating. I'm just going to point that out. I like the taste of sodium. <laughs> that was my, my interlude. All right. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just going to shoot Augustus a uh, sideways glance and kind of step forward with a big smile. Got his hand on his gun belt. Well, let me just tell you, folks about the time I first ran into a canid. See, I was working at uh, my dad's old used car lot, and we saw this strange creature chasing the mare down the street. And I pulled out my old nine irons, and I shot that thing dead. Ever since I've been working with the resistance to chase them evil buggers right out of town. You look very thin, Mike. You should eat some sausage. <laughs> <laughs> Violet, go. Nobody else. Violet, Uncle Joe. Um, so I, I got an eight of spades, so that's personal triumph, I guess. The interludes, right? So um, then... Yep. Uh, remember, uh, so uh, Miss Salt and I were touring her top secret. Uh, Golden Egg Facility. Oh, sorry, boss. Um, Keep it down. And the Nids attacked, and uh, we fought them off. I, you know, that's that's what's important here. I roll up my sleeve and show like a military style tattoo of a blueberry, like with dead eyes or something. <laughs> <laughs> Love it. <laughs> Ixnay on the factory. Act actory Faye? <laughs> Everyone knows about your factory. Who do you think you're kidding? <laughs> All right. So Grandpa Joe, right? Why? I actually can't believe I wrote that as Uncle Joe. That was weird. Yeah. I so, uh... <laughs> Grandpa Joe, I can't believe you're still alive. Like... You're so old. It's been a lot of work. So, like, yeah, I may be old kid, but I've seen some stuff. <laughs> One doesn't get over losing our entire family to vermicious canids. A dear departed Josephine, Charlie's mother, Uncle G Grandpa George, and Gran Grandma Georgina weren't prepared to move when Charlie inherited the factory. So they weren't ready or able to leave and Charlie's mother wouldn't leave them alone. And then Knids crashed into the hovel with Charlie's other grandparents still in bed. Even though we tried to get them moving, none of them survived. All of them were crashed under NID war machines. Only Charlie and I survived making it to the underground. Like, 
like Grandpa no Jeff. chances to find Wonka. He's the only one who can set this right. How old, how old are you now, Grandpa Joe? I'm a spry 75. You don't look a day over 74. <laughs> <laughs> so you inherited a factory. I thought you had bought the farm. <laughs> All right, so you, um, so I think that was everybody, right? Everybody, uh, one more, Charlie, go. Oh, Charlie, yes, Amy, Charlie, okay? nobody remembers Charlie. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, Charlie, oh, he went to the factory too. So. Are you guys able to hear me? Yep, okay, cool. Uh, so Charlie got a spade, uh, I got a spade. Um, honestly, Charlie. Charlie peaked at the factory. He uh, he's had a hard time adjusting ever since then. Um, the Knids invaded as he was going home and getting packed up, and you know, as as Grandpa Joe already explained to you, we 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 had a hard time. Um, you know, every everybody else is gone. Uh, I, I've managed to gather up some of the some of the folks around here, some of the the less fortunate souls and we've uh we've managed to keep the nids back but you know i'm still still so mad at those green ropey things for what they caused the problems and the we're the only hope for this guys we've got to do this as long as there is chocolate i mean <laughs> you lead the way, Charlie. So, Charlie, I expect you to bring back the salt and caramel when we're done with this, correct? I'll give you guys whatever you want out of that factory. Well, you're all uh, going to uh, go to the factory. and um, But before you go, uh, Charlie... You say, you know, the, the sort of the group that you've been, the, the Wonka group that you've been ahead of, um, they do have some, um, they do have some resources and Veruca can also utilize some of her resources. And so you're getting together at a, a little secret meeting place, really, to, uh, to sort of discuss some of these some of this a little bit. So you have Slugworth with you. This is an abandoned, uh, basically an abandoned building. There is a, um, there's a vehicle that is a, uh, you know, a, a, a truck that you can use. And um, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna do two things. I'm sorry, I grabbed my notes here so I can make sure I get it right. Um, so we're going to do two, um, two like sort of social conflicts where Charlie's Charlie wants to get some things, you know, get get some of the the goods, and uh, the, the the group is a little bit reluctant because you know anything that goes off, anything that's ever gone to the factory has basically just disappear. They've made raids on the factory before and they've always gone really poorly. And so they think it's just throwing away the equipment. And then um, Veruca is going to get, you know, she brought in some of her people with some of the stuff that she um, can provide as some of the um, as some of the goods. So so what you guys get to do is Charlie and Veruca are going to sort of be the the prime for the for these two conflicts, but the other two, um, the uh, the other four people can choose how you want to support who you want to support if you want to support Charlie or if you want to support Veruca. Also, I forgot I wanted to do something for you guys here, which is for the um uh um. For the, the interlude, I'm going to yell 
one card to one of these to everybody. So you should have a Wonka bar and <laughs> in your Wonka bar. Cool. Um, wow, a Wonka. <laughs> <laughs> These are hard to come by since the Canid invasion. Yeah. Yep. <laughs> Do you so, know the street worth of a Wonka bar these days? And um, and of course the roll twenty in its um, infinite infinite wisdom. So what do you see? Does everyone just see a chocolate bar? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. When, yes, I, when I, I had yes, yeah, when I had to deal it out, it dealt to me. All right, let's try this again. I'm going to recall these. Just you don't have to do that. You can just click on it and kill it, <clears throat> delete it in your own. Yeah, I'm gonna, I'm gonna recall them all and I'm gonna deal it again. Yeah, I'm gonna do them one at a time now. Oh, there we go. Cool, I can do it that way. Everybody but me. This should work. One, two, three, four, five. Six. There we go. All right. Hey, um, Mike, Grandpa Joe, and Veruca, since we're streaming this and it might be a little confusing to people, if you can go to the bottom of the chat on Roll20 and hit where it says as, there's a drop down arrow. If you change it to your character, it will actually show your character's uh, image over there, which might help the streamers a little bit, the people watching. Right. I was trying to figure out how, why mine wasn't showing. There you go. Perfect. Okay, thank you. There's the gang. A few more wrinkles, right. a few less gray hairs. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so now now everybody should have another another Wonka bar. So feel free to flip your Wonka bar and take a look at it. Oh, a ticket. Who got the golden ticket? Uh, that would be me. Daddy always makes sure I got my golden ticket. <laughs> awesome. All right, so so what these Wonka bars are, they're sort of like a they're like a little pseudo Benny really so what you can use the Wonka you can use the regular chocolate to at any point uh just turn it in for to to nudge a roll by by one but the golden ticket lets you do it with a plus 1d6 so you can add a so if you use your if you, whoever has the golden ticket can can add a 1d6 to a roll at some point and you might have other opportunities to get Wonka bars I didn't know awesome. that Peruka would get the golden ticket. Yeah. <laughs> well, <So. laughs> I have my ways. All right, so I'm going to recall all the cards, and, and then I'm going to deal out a new set of cards. And um, so... Uh, feel free to move yourself. So over by the the the, the sort of the truck is the Charlie group, and the um, the 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 other the other the two people on the other side are the Veruca group. So just sort of arrange yourself how you want to, how you want to, um, you know, who's going to help with um, with each of the the two tasks. I'll be back in a sec here. I have to let a cat. Out. That makes sense. Okay. Grandpa Joe will be like right next to Charlie, you know, he's really protective of his grandson. So it's the only family he's got left. Thanks. Mark, are we trying to obtain uh, extra resources basically? Yes, yes. So, so what Charlie can do is he's um they he's what He's talking about the the vehicle and what what they can do with the vehicle to help out to get them to the to get them to the factory and into the factory. And Veruca, it's basically some uh, different bits of assault gear that she may or may not be able to. Well, I I noticed that all of us are wearing armor except for Augustus. Is it the problem that they don't make it big enough, or what's 
<laughs> That's just very afraid. hurtful. I was afraid he was going to get stuck again. I have big bones. I'm not fat. I'm big boned. <laughs> Does everybody? So, who all has armor? Everybody has armor except. Uh... Yep. I do not need it. My body is a weapon. Yeah, he's very, he's very brawny and. Okay. Well, you can uh, you can you can try to get some. So. I'm also carrying a rifle, evidently. Yeah, so you can describe what gear you already have, if that's you know, so that people have a sense of what you what you have, if you want to tell tell them. Well, they see it. I'm I'm carrying a, a an automatic rifle. Okay. Violet has laser pistol. Veruca also has a laser pistol, but hers has uh, gold inlaid and diamond grip. So Rosky crystals on them. <laughs> Only the that that that's that's for the peasants. <laughs> so Mike smiles. He's got thirty-eight. That is a beautiful weapon. So so it it had better be for how much I paid for it. May I see it? Uh, maybe if you wash that sausage uh, juice off your fingers. Yeah, might, it's like, just dripping off my hands. I've got my big pudgy <laughs> fingers out. I I'm gonna slurp. First, I'm gonna very nonchalantly move to the other side of Violet. Uh, <laughs> it is no matter. <laughs> Instead of brass knuckles, could Grandpa Joe have a uh, cane with a brass head on it? Your, his uh, age sure. probably needs a cane. Absolutely. Yeah, feel free. If you want to make any little adjustments like that, that's certainly fine. Hey, Mark, I'm sorry. Right. I think I missed something. Can you can you set us up again here? Where... Okay. So What are we doing? So what right now what you're doing is Charlie is going to try is going to try to convince some of the the team members to uh, to sort of you know help with the, they have like a couple different vehicles and so like let them borrow one of the vehicles and so it's a social sort of back and forth interaction to a social conflict interaction to try to get a better vehicle and Veruca ha is going to try to like you know is going to be talking trying to get some of uh, some better gear from some of these, some of the the, the other two people, and the you know, sort of okay, people. Are we? There's... Are we at the factory? No, no, no. You're not at the factory. You're at like a little, like a like a safe house, really. A sort of an old, old beaten up. I building. see. So we're getting geared up to go to the factory. Yes, yes. You're not there yet. I see. Got it. So is that uh, is that Marshawn in front of me? Uh, sure. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> uh, I find okay. the pictures and the. Uh... It's uh, so I walk up to Marshawn and uh, I kind of look her up and down very scornfully, and I I'll say, look, I understand that you are the resistance, but what you're doing is very helpful. But if you really want to get on a team that's a winning team, you will give us the equipment, the weapons, the armor, and the manpower that we can get this job done. You're doing a fine job. We're going to go next level. Yes, yeah, so we require the things, all the things. And this guy needs some food. Yes. You, you think you know how many calories it takes to make to have a killing machine like this on your team? That doesn't yes, I'm a killing machine. Look at those fists. He can squeeze a sausage and he can just all like, times. Right. This guy's he's gonna eat a canid. Yeah. <laughs> I'm not and sure I, I would eat a canid. I have to I, see what it tastes like first. I turn around and point at Veruca. I'm sorry, go ahead. Especially if it's dipped in chocolate. <laughs> it tastes, it it tastes it more appetizing. <laughs> Veruca, that's a good idea. Take a note of that. Maybe we can market that after this is all over. Yeah. <laughs> all right, so... It's going to make good sausages. 
<laughs> Chocolate covered sausages. <laughs> Maybe some canid jerky. <laughs> okay. <laughs> so I do not um, like jerky. It's too dry. I like my sausage yeah. juicy. <laughs> It's far more tasty that way, but I think the canids are very juicy if I look at their tendrils and the weed. Very good. <laughs> Should I uh, roll my intimidation so, check? Well, sure, but Violet and Augustus, you have an opportunity to uh, support uh, Veruca with the intimidation, so how would you like to... Uh, would you like to, for one? Sure. Yes, Are we but I'm not... for something specific? She just kind of said, give us everything. Which is yeah, her personality, right? right? But <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> Basically, she's taking over the operation. <laughs> right, so what we're going to do, we're doing this, so what we're doing is we're doing a, uh, there's going to be three rounds of arguing that or, or discussion that's going to go back and forth. And each raise and success gets you a um, an, an influence point. And if you get a um, a critical failure, uh, you'll you'll lose a point. So, um, <clears throat> excuse me. So, yeah, like I said, there's going to be three rounds of it. We'll go through and we'll uh, do it. You can figure out Violet and Augustus if you can com come up with one of your skills that you think is uh, would yep. be useful. I'm ready. To to do it, then uh, you two can roll first and see what you do for Veruca, and then you'll. Do you want to go first, Violet? Uh, yes, but I did not. Yikes! <laughs> it's not Snake Eyes, so we can. Gonna let it go. Uh. No. It's only door. Why not? It's a con game. It's a Benny. <laughs> we'll see how stingy Mark is. That's the how do you, uh, you just grab, <laughs> grab and throw the Benny? Yeah, you just grab it and you can put it on the on the table and then you can just delete it. I, if someone has a better way of doing it, I, I'm not. You know, oh, I, that's, that's right. That's yeah. And then just hit re-roll down there. <clears throat> I give by a little side eye, like that's better. <laughs> there you go. Well done. There we go. Okay. All right. So you give so, uh, you give Veruca a plus two. So what I'm gonna do, Mark? So there's there's uh, a bunch of guns here, right? And other yep. stuff. Yep. Okay. I'm actually gonna use shooting. I'm gonna pick up each one and I'm gonna look down the sight and test the action and all that kind of stuff. No, this one is no good. This okay. one is okay. This <laughs> one is no good. So I'm gonna use shooting. All right. Someone's coming behind you with a towel. Each one. <laughs> right. Uh, there's a All plus right. one, so that's a plus three total. All right. <laughs> and then uh, Veruca, you know, bolstered by uh, Augustus and Violet, will just sort of a uh, cock of the walk kind of strut around uh, Marshawn there and uh, basically pointed point and point and point with very uh, with an imperial manner, will just taking over. And uh, let's see some intimidation. Oh, uh, yes. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so with the old uh, plus three, I'm pretty sure that's a 16, which is four successes. Yeah, yeah. Um... I wanted five. <laughs> <laughs> Nothing's ever good enough for Veruca. <laughs> yeah, really. Um... <laughs> five successes so um okay so you got four tokens there um all right uh they're, they're really you know they're really being swayed to your side um augustus and violet also uh each of you give me a notice roll All right, both of you sort of hear a, um, a little like like you might hear a sound outside as well going on, but Veruca's gonna go and continue her. They're like, 
Like, yeah, that's some good, uh, good, you make some good points. We're, we're mostly convinced, but there's still, I mean, it's a lot of, it's a lot of gear. And I, you know, I don't know if we can, we can really part with it. It's really expensive to get. It's, um, it's, it's a, um, not a, um, you know, it's like it's so hard to come by. We use it up, it's gone. And how do we know you guys are even going to come back? Because seriously, this, you know, like I said, no one ever makes it through to the factory and successfully. It always just ends badly. The people disappear, they're gone. And then they take our, all the equipment with them and you just wasted it. So what else, what else can you do for us? Well, if it's a matter of money, that's not a problem. That's not a matter at all. And if the, those other fools that went into the factory, they don't have something to come back to like I've got something to come back to. I am motivated. My team is motivated. We are a team of doers. And if you don't trust that, trust your eyes. And then she pulls out her pistol and is like, Look at this. They don't just give this to anybody. <laughs> Are you not a patriot? This is what patriots do. Patriots attack the Canids. We're all patriots. We're all trying to do the... Uh... Yes, and we are the patriots who are going to go into the factory. And as, as I have been reminded, we are the only ones who have been in the factory. So, oh, yeah. That's right. You, that is a good point. All right. So, um, okay. So, uh, Violet, you have anything you want to add to the to this as well? Um, uh, maybe I can. I would forego my turn and go check out what's going on out. Look out the window. Look. Okay. You can do that. So, Augusta. So, what do you? Uh, uh, anything in particular that you're using? Well, that was my uh, persuasion <laughs> roll to help. So. <laughs> I leave the room for one second. <laughs> We're the only ones who've been in the. <laughs> he starts choking on a on a bone in the sausage from his his, his factory, his own factory. Ew! So, okay. Ew! Ew! That's that's just gross. That's gross. <laughs> it's, it's, uh, it's coming uh, up everywhere. Yeah. Guess, uh, yeah. Just, Distracts Veruca a little bit, so you have a minus one on this. <laughs> uh, uh, yeah, Please. So, Tyler, if you want to move, if you want to move over to like one of those holes in the wall to see what you're, to see, uh, look out a, get a bit. And then Veruca, you can make your roll. All right. Didn't need it. <laughs> That's how you get it done. <laughs> <laughs> oh no, so I'm not I'm dying here. They're cowering in the corner. Like, ah, ah. She, doesn't even, she doesn't even pause her argument to give Augustus the Heimlich <laughs> real quick. And continue <laughs> you can't reach around me anyway. <laughs> All, right. All right, so we will we'll come back to the conclusion of that in a moment. Uh, so now we'll click over to Charlie, and he, at the same time, he's trying to talk to the other two, trying to get them there to either, you know, give them a vehicle, give them a vehicle, or give them uh, some, you know, bonus on the on the vehicle uh, in some way. You know, they have some equipment that they can mount to the vehicle, and so they're they like I said, they're a little reluctant too. They've got the vehicle, and as long as you know you're not you're not really, you don't really do too poorly. You can get the vehicle, but you want to get it modified a bit. So how, what are you doing Charlie, to convince him? Uh, so Charlie walks up to uh, James here. James, listen, I know these trucks are valuable. I know that we're having a harder and harder time finding these things, but you're looking at the only group of people that have ever been in the factory. And I mean, right here we have Stubworth. I'm sure he has more than enough intel. When we get in that factory, we're going to need this truck in order to be able to get everything we need out of it. Uh, 
Uh, you do make a good point. I mean, it's true. I mean, up until this time, it's just been you, and and like and you've gone and you've checked it out, and we've had some real, you know, brave people try to go in, and uh, it just has not gone well. But I mean, I never thought I'd see the all five of the of the kids together in one place. This is this is uh, you know this 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 could be a sign. So. Um, Grandpa Joe and Mike, is there, how would you like to, uh, are, are you going to, uh, you can choose to help with this and try to do, uh, try to assist, or since um, you probably saw Violet going off to take a look at something, you could go try to check out what she's looking at as well. It's up to you guys. Mike's going to step up, big smile on his face. Well, if you're concerned about getting materials back, well, let me just show you a few tricks. And he's going to flip his guns out and do a little trick shooting with uh, his shooting skill. All righty. And so so you can roll. And then Grandpa Joe, what do you want to do? Are you going over to Violet? Are you going to try to assist Charlie? And how do you want to do it? Um, I think Grandpa Joe is going to try and assist Charlie. He's going to use his... Uh, to common knowledge about the Wonka factory. Okay. So you're going to like t give him some pieces of information that sort of like give you that, that, that are like Intel, yeah. show, show Intel into the factory. Okay. All right. So give me your common knowledge. All right, so Mike gave him one, and Grandpa Joe gave him one. So Charlie, you get a plus two on your. I assume you're going to use uh, your persuasion on this. Yes, I will. All right. All right. So you got you got one success. They're 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 feeling a little little stingy about it. They're um, you know they're like I know I know I know, but really I mean this is like the the only vehicle we have uh, that's that's really running reliably. If we, you know, I, I, you guys, I, I believe that you guys are good, but can you actually, you know, can you actually get it, get the truck and, um, you know, get it and bring it back? I mean, we, we need it to fight off these guys, so. Charlie, you could use your chocolate bar to get around. A chocolate bar would only nudge it one. And it's out right. of seven. Oh, it is out of seven. Yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and use the uh the chocolate bar to go ahead and get the the rays on it this time around. All right, good. So they're yeah, they're definitely okay. So you pushed it a little over the edge. They're they said all that, but then they the the other one sort of you know says something and uh and says oh hey uh you know we he's Charlie's been really good for us uh. And uh, we should really, we should really let him let him have the vehicle. So, so you definitely have the vehicle at this point, but you can try and keep going to try to get some more. And this has only been the the one round. You, so, um, you can um, try one more time or two more times actually to try to improve it and see if you can get some other modifications to the uh, to the vehicle. Okay, uh, James. Listen, anything else that you guys can provide. With this vehicle, you know, can we can we get a ram put on the front of this thing? Like, we're gonna need to be able to get in there, get as far into the factory as we can, and be able to do as much as we can as quickly as possible. Anything that this team can provide would be a great help for all of us. Yeah, you you do do make a good point. So, Joe and Mike, do you want to, again, go see what Violet's doing or, or help out Charlie? Um, go ahead. So Mike's going to kind of talk his head. You said uh, this is the only vehicle you've got running. What if I could uh, help you out with maybe doing a little repair on one of those other vehicles to make this loss not worth quite so much to you? A little repair roll? Awesome. Yeah. Good thinking. Wow. 
All right. So you, you gave it one. Grandpa Joe? Okay, so Grandpa Joe is, uh, well, it's not optimal, but he's going to try and add his persuasion to him. It's all like, look, Charlie made it all the way through the factory. He's the only one that didn't fall into one of Wonka's traps like the other one did. If anybody is capable of leading us into the factory, it's Charlie. All right. Almost and, there. And I will spend my chocolate bar. All right. <laughs> okay, so so again, Charlie, you've got an extra two uh, to your roll. All right, coming up with persuasion. I think I'm going to spend a Benny. I want to try and get that a little bit higher. Okay. Okay. Oh, it's not meant to be. Yeah. <laughs> All right. So you got, you got one more success, right? You had two successes before. Correct. Yeah. Yeah, and you got got the one. All right. Um, they're okay. So they're like, all right, all right. Um, they're right on the edge of being able to, to give you give you something more. This one, Charlie just has to do by himself. You know, he's he's gonna like he has to. He's like, oh, let me let's like, Mike. Mike's been helping. Uh, actually, go ahead, Mike. You can make another repair roll on that too. So. Okay. Joe, you can try. You can, yeah, give, yeah, right. you both give more and more try. This is the third round to see how much, how much you can really persuade him. Bam. Oh yeah. So then, then when you hear that, you know, the roar of the engine on one of them as they're sitting there chatting, it's like, oh yeah, that's it. Oh, and then <laughs> Grandpa Joe. <laughs> so, all right. So Charlie, you have a plus four. On your right. roll. Hopefully with uh, Grandpa Joe's sales pitch and Mike's repair. L listen, James, man. We need to do this. This is this is the final hope for mankind. All right, so it was a nine. So you got two more successes that kicks you to a five. All right. Um, so they're like, yeah, well, okay, what we can do is we can give you either, um, we can either, you know, we, we don't really have a whole lot of, of time to do this. We can either give you uh, armor plating on it, which would increase its, uh, basically it's going to increase its toughness from a 10 to a 12, or we can put a, um, uh, a, Put our we have a, a mount on the back for a gun that is a um, basically it's a um, it's a um, an, it's an automatic rifle. It doesn't actually work in automatic anymore. It just does single shots, but it's mounted to the vehicle so that whoever's using that doesn't have a um, a um, like a a movement. A movement penalty. An unstable platform. Unstable platform, yes. Thank you. Uh, I, I look back at my uh, buddies here, Grandpa Joe and, and Mike, and I see Mike's eyes just light up when they mention the mounted turret. And uh, I say, all right, well, we'll take, the, we'll take the mounted gun, and I appreciate everything that you've done for us. All right, thanks. Just... Yo, please bring it, bring it back. <laughs> oh, we will. The full tank, I guess. All right. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So, Veruca, you got. Um, I want to give you, and you guys can sit there and discuss this. There's sort of a, a pile of stuff, and you can take three. Th there's, um, there is body armor like the other one. So, if you wanted to get Augustus some body armor. There is a double barrel shotgun. 
And there are three, or sorry, smoke grenades and regular grenades. And if you choose one of those, you can roll a um, uh, 1d4 plus one to see how many of the grenades that you can that you can get. I say grenades. <laughs> So wait, we so we have some grenades. <laughs> so we're picking one of those or three of those? What are we doing? Three of those, and it could actually be three of the same thing if you wanted to. It's basically because oh. you know Veruca Veruca got so over the top that that it's got um, that she's you know got you the sort of the the set of things to choose from. You can hear Veruca singing the "I Want It All" song. Um, <laughs> <laughs> now, <laughs> so I think for sure we want to give Augie the uh, some body armor, right? I do not need it. It is too heavy for me. I like to move freely when I do my dance of death. You know, body armor can be very slimming. No, I do not want it. I will not wear it. Oh well, you know. <laughs> That okay, well, it interferes you know, with my pockets where I keep my sausages. You, I guess, you can lead a German to the sausage factory, but can't make them fight, <laughs> make them your arm. Uh, so I guess, question would we have all seen like the vermicious canids uh attacking the great glass elevator? Uh, would we have an idea, I guess, I'm yet my long question, uh, will grenades or be very effective or are we going to be more stealth? Um, you do know that they, you know, they're, they're somewhat armored, but, but, you know, kinetic weapons of any sort do damage them. Um, it, 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 these don't have to take for our group, right? We can give the. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. This basically, you guys split up into your group so that you you can do it. But then when you get together, you can you can do all this. Meanwhile, Is anybody happy with their weapon? Want the shotgun or something? I've got a question. I suggest one smoke grenade and two bundles of regular grenades. Let's load up. Well, let's, does anybody answer my? If anybody's unhappy with their weapon, they might want the shotgun. I I'm fine with. My with my uh, 1911. You know I'm good with my uh, diamond gold laser pistol. I got a Styrog. I'm happy. Which with a golden gun. <laughs> <laughs> it, it matches my ticket. Um, <laughs> so I, I, I'm, I'm on board. One smoke grenade because why not? Because I'll look fabulous walking through the smoke like some John Woo movie. But then also two two frag grenades, right? Is everyone cool with that? Yeah, that sounds um, good. I already have like thermal and smoke grenades, so I don't. I mean, I'm I don't need any more. But other people can take some. Mm. Never have. Mark, you said these were a D four plus one of each, right? Yep. So that's a lot. I mean, even like one of like yeah. One of each kind would still be a lot of, a lot of. Yeah, let's see how many we got and move on. All right. right. Um, no, there isn't by any chance any uh, futuristic uh, med kits or healing or anything available as a resource. I think that might be something we're low on group. I do have a basic first aid. You're too paranoid. The canids will not touch us. <laughs> They wouldn't dare touch us. They will not take us. Us. We will stop in like ninjas. <laughs> and we'll break their slimy necks. All right. Someone else can someone can feel free. Whoever wants to roll, just tell me what you're tell me which one you're doing. Right. So I guess Veruca you know, in her in her fashion, Veruca will go over and just grab as many of the smoke grenades as she can. Uh, so one grab of so one d four. Okay, perfect. Uh, and then, 
who's getting who's grabbing the frag I'd grenades like, i would like one smoke and one frag please okay so one roll of the frags mostly i need a smoke to smoke my sausage <laughs> And we're going to need a frag to blast the cholesterol out of your arteries. <laughs> it's okay. I'm on various medications. <laughs> you want to get a statin grenade? <laughs> so that's three smoke grenades. Uh, can we get a roll for the frag grenades then too, please? Or was that the frag grenade? Oh, Here, I'll do it. I'll do awesome. it. Here you go. Thank you. There's seven, nine. Oh. There's nine frags. I just want one. Yeah. So you have nine, nine frag grenades. So. All right. So one around, and then uh, who gets two? I'll take two. Oh, yeah. And who? And then Augustus got one of the th four smoke grenades. Three more. I'll mm -hmm. take a smoke grenade. I'm. Sorry. <laughs> I'm good. I don't need any. Okay. We're giving one frag to each person, right? Yeah. Yes. And three left over. All right. Um, Mike. What's the give me a... or the frag grenade? What's that? The uh, stats on the frag grenades. Um, shoot, I did uh, let's do just one sec here. Um, we'll, we'll get there in a moment. I want to get to Violet, who's been sort of waiting patiently there for a bit. So, what are you doing, Violet? Um, what, oh, what do I see? I see Oompa Loompas. Uh, yeah, you do. Do but we know they're... anything? Go ahead. Um, they, yeah, they're, um, they're Oompa Loompas, and they look like they have some kind of, like, face shield on, and um, they look a little bulkier than you remember. Do I know anything about fate? their fate since the the attack? What, what they doing? Nope, haven't heard anything about them, so... All right. It's fine that they're not. They're trying not to spread COVID, though. Yeah, yes. I, mean, I really can't <laughs> knock them for wearing masks. Um, I call out and it's like, uh, "Who goes there? Where, what's your business?" Um, all right. Oompa, oompa, doompa, doo. Wrong. Wrong here. I've got another message for like, you. Is that what, what are they doing? Are they... Pew! And actually, one of them takes a pot shot at you, but luckily it's dark, so it just misses you. Okay, so they hear me, they don't understand, they don't respond, and they shoot. Yep. All right, do I need an initiative card? What do I need? All right, so we'll... Uh... We will go into that. By the way, yes, the, the uh, grenade is uh, 3d6 in a medium burst template. And the smoke is a large burst template that obscures vision. Can be evaded if they don't cook it, right? The, um, the grenade? Yes, mm -hmm. correct. So, all right. So Violet, you're gonna get a, um, a card here. Um, it's a deal. Violet, are you letting us know what's happening? I think you heard a gunshot, yeah. So some stuff's going down. Are you saying Oompa Loompas? Yeah, yeah. Okay. Oh no, we are being attacked by Oompa Loompas. Those dirty orange bastards. Oh. <laughs> All right. Oh, I got rid of it, of course. So, great. Um, no deal. That, yeah, that Augustus. There we go. Well, that does seem a little unrealistic if they're orange and wearing a mask. Not enough for you. <laughs> All right. Well, um, they got a Joker. As well. 
They have a Joker and a Nine of Diamonds. So, Augustus, I'll let you go first with your Joker. Oh, I'm sorry. They should have only gotten one card. Mark, but, I don't think we can see their initiative. I don't know if that was by intention. Cool. Um, it was not really. I, I put it. It's it's actually. Yeah, sorry. It's showing on the the, the stream. I, the card is up there. I accidentally uh, deleted. It, so I was just trying to be quick about it then and just give myself a card and show it. But so they have a Joker. But um, go ahead, uh, Augustus. You go first. Everybody else can see theirs, right? Yep. Yes, sir. Uh, yep. Okay, so uh, can I see through this gap by Violet? Do I see Oompa Loompas coming? Um, well, let's see. What, what's, uh, how about give me a notice roll? It's looking like you could, but it's a little dark. Four. Four. Yeah, well, say that you, you, you see movement. You assume that that's what... Shot and Violet at her. said Oompa Loompas, right? Okay. Yep. Here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to go one, two, three, four to the corner here. And then I'm going to, I'm trying to be actually right there. And I'm going to yank Violet back in through the hole as one action. And then I'm going to chuck my frag grenade right there as the other action. All right. So which do you want me to do first? You can pull Violet. Okay, yeah, because I'm not going to throw it if I don't make it. So here's my athletics. It'll be even since I get plus two for the Joker. There we go. Bingo. Assuming, right. assuming Violet lets me yank her inside the cover. Uh, you know, I, I run my mouth the whole time. <laughs> Come inside, <laughs> Violet. I'm going to throw a grenade. <laughs> I had the situation under control. I was fine. All right. Okay, so I'm going to put the grenade right there, Mark. Right where All I right. see the largest concentration of moving shadows. Yep. I'm just throwing for the ground. There we go. Nice. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Everybody get down. Fire in the hole. Okay. It's a roll your damage. Uh, let's see. I didn't set up a fire grenade, so I'm just going to roll. Um, how do you type it? To make it flash, R, flash R, then three and six with an exclamation point at the end. At the end, right? Yeah. Yep. Mm, I'm going to Benny that. All right. That was, oh, it should be 46, actually. Yeah, it should be six, right? Yeah, so. Uh... Um, actually, don't need to worry about don't don't bother bennying it because <laughs> even if you only rolled a one on the last die, that that actually was enough. Woohoo! I'll keep my Benny. Plus two. Yeah. Plus yep. Yep. So there. Yeah. So so boom! You just took out two two oompa loompas there. So little oompa loompa bodies go flying everywhere. Yep. <laughs> This is how we make the sausage. Oh no, that's the... <laughs> no more show tunes for those guys. <laughs> Do All right. done. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Uh, so there were a couple of loompas that were that were trying to you know case it out. So now you realize that that they sort of. They're 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 on to you and, and know what's going on. So you probably had better uh, do something pretty quick. So you should start, you know, realize that you you can't really probably do any more kinds of deals or anything. Take the stuff that you got, and you're going to have to uh, to deal with it. Get in the truck, everybody. Let's go. All right. Is everyone gonna? So so you're all getting in. And um, who's Shotgun. going? Who's going to uh, to mount the? Um, uh, who's going to do what in the vehicle? So I kick you Michael up. take the gun unless somebody's got a better shooting than him. Yeah. 
All right. So, so now you see a new view. I call shotgun. I call shotgun. I am too big for the back. Let me in. Let me have it. Fine. <laughs> so you're, you're part in the back. Oh my sciatica. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so oh, Mike TV, why don't you uh, give me a repair roll while you're looking at the grenades? Uh oh. They're a little. They're a little rusty. They might not all work as advertised. <laughs> it's a good thing the first one did. <laughs> yeah, I'll pass that on to everybody to kind of watch those grenades. So, like, hey, Mike, can you work your magic on that uh, <laughs> bolt rifle and get it back into uh, <laughs> rapid fire condition? Well, I can sure try. <laughs> Got another repair roll? Yep. It's a minus two because it's it's a little little tricky. Oh yeah. Ooh, with the minus two. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Well, um, you fully uh, so you pretty much fully restored it to uh, to a rate of fire of three. <laughs> So, bow and a smile. <laughs> all right. So, who's going to work, yeah. Mike? We should hire you at my factory when this is all over. You can help on our repair and our production lines. Only if I get to be in the commercial. All right. So, who's going to then take that gun as they as you approach the gate? Who 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 knows how to drive? Who knows how to drive? I can shoot, but I can't drive. I can drive a little. I'm used to being driven around. Augustus will okay. drive. <laughs> Augustus might be the only one with driving. Okay. I'll get behind the wheel. Well, All we'll right. man the gun. Violet is willing to man the gun if you want. Oh, go for it. I got my little six shooters. I'll cover you. Okay, so Violet, what I'm going to do is I'm going to then, because this is the only one like this, is I'm going to add that as a um, as a weapon for you. And um, let's see. Oh, rate of fire. Then if I do that, shooting, and it is 2d8. All right, so um, the truck gun, I'm going to call it. Okay, so, so you have the truck gun. Do you see it on your sheet? Yep. Blue. All right. Is it and, in the armor piercing or no? Um, it does. Yep, it has uh, two armor piercing. There we go. Okay, cool. So, and then do you know how to do that on the roll twenty? It took you know it took me a while to figure out the thing where you make it with a little attack X, and so then when you click on that, then it asks you how many shots you want to do. Yep. Okay, cool. All right. So. Here you go. There's the you're leading up into the gate. Uh, you guys don't actually have to put yourselves on there. You're just there for having characters for um, doing the uh, turn order. So I think I have to do this. I've had a problem in the past. I think I have to pull everybody back and, and select everybody again and do it.
Oh yeah, it doesn't think the copies of tokens. All right, gotta get you guys into uh, turn order here. Did not take him? Shoot. So frustrating. I've done this. Let's try it again. Okay. okay, good. Now we see it. Everybody, yeah. So I see the turn order, and then if I deal cards. Turn order items. Already there, okay. And card two. All right, Mike. So you are first. So what we're gonna do is you. So with driving, what there's um. Everybody can do whatever they want to do, except Augustus. You have um. Three choices each round. You can either move safely and move two spaces forward, and that gives the people shooting no movement penalty, but it gives you a plus two to hit. Um, you can then move sort of a medium level uh, and do six spaces, which requires a drive roll to do that successfully. And then there's the normal unsteady platform, uh, or you can like absolutely floor it and go 10 spaces uh, as a drive roll at minus two because the road is in terrible shape and you're trying to to uh, uh, get um, you're trying to sort of you know keep them keep the truck on the road if you fail that roll then the vehicle goes out of control the advantages of that are it, it it's at a minus two uh, to be hit by anything that would be shooting at it but all tasks that anybody do in, inside the truck, just shooting, are at minus two. Now, you being the sort of somewhat um, bulky person that you are, you know that mass equals momentum as well. So you know that, that you will also do increasingly more and more damage to that gate if you wanted to, the faster you were going. Augustus Gloop only has oh, one speed. Full speed ahead. <laughs> All right, so I'm going to deal out cards. So, so what I'm going to do though is, Augustus, you just are saying what you're going to do. So you're going to do the the full pedal to the metal, ten ten space. You're just like hitting the gas, driving. Yeah, it's funny you said there were three choices. <laughs> so. There were never three choices. There were never three choices. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so um, so actually, though, what I'll do is I'll have Augustus. So Augustus is sort of in the order, but really he has to go first. It's basically I put him in the order in case he gets a joker. So Augustus, make your drive roll at minus two to see if you can keep this keep this jalopy on the road there. <laughs> oh, <laughs> wouldn't no. we be able to support it? <laughs> oh yeah, I'm gonna spend a Benny, but let's hear that support. Tell me what's a good driver I am. Uh, I want to use. You, ninny. <laughs> I want to use notice and like point out any kind of like potholes and and things like that on the road to try to help him out. Oh, okay, so you want to you want to use your turn to uh, support him? Yes. Okay. All right. I will allow that. Even it's a little out of the order. That's fine. Um, left, right, left. Do you want me to go ahead and roll notice? <laughs> yep. Yep. All right, so um, he's paying attention, but I won't let him know it. Be quiet, you're bothering me. I'm trying to focus. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so, well, since he hasn't yet had his full chance to fully accelerate, he doesn't have that minus, you don't have that minus two yet. So you give two successes to, uh, to, um, Oh, his... I, I've been driving like this since we spotted the place, man. It's oh, okay. okay. All right. So you're still at my, so so that was a minus two. So you give oh, him. Yeah, make it hard. 
You're given one, so you can roll again. Now you're still driving minus one. Uh, can I wait till the end of the turn and let everybody else go if they want to support, if anybody else wants to support? Uh, sure, sure. Some may want to save your action to shoot or attack or something. But if anybody else wants to support, I'll, I'll go last. I'll, I'll, I'll support. I'll, I'll say, would you please, the, you, if you were my driver, I'd fire you immediately. This bumpy road is ridiculous. I was just fixing my lipstick. It's all over the place now. This is, oh, intimidation. For you, Veruca. I, yeah. You're trying to intimidate Augustus into driving well. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, or I, and then and since I am sitting behind the driver's seat, I will kind of throw a little bit of a temper tantrum and kick the backs of the, the, the driver's seat. <laughs> All right. Very good. So that was, um, and you had the minus two because he's driving like a madman anyway. So you still get you get one more. Okay. One so that's plus two. Yeah. Stop it! You're just like my mother, always telling me what to do. So if you did it right in the first place, I wouldn't have to tell you what to do. I have enough going on without having to tell you how to do your job, too. The steam are slipping in my greasy hands. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Anybody else? Uh, anybody else supporting, or are they going to keep an eye out and shoot at things they see? Or... Yeah, Mike I think Grandpa Joe's going to keep his. Uh... Pistol handy, and you know, keep his hand gripped around whatever he can find in the bed of the truck to hold on to. Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and do my reroll. Then here we go. All right, with my Benny. All right, you got it, cause you that, cause it's a straight up roll at this point, cause you got right. the two. So, all right, so you, you able to keep it, keep it going. Everybody is still at a minus two on all their actions, but we're going to move you ahead 10 spaces. One, two, three, four. Or actually, I should let you do it. You're doing it. You're driving. You take You take wheel. Figure out where you want to go. There we go. All Just right. In case it's mined. Oh, okay. So um, you did see this thing over here on the right hand side, right? Uh, what thing? There's the, like this little partial circle there. Uh, I see half of it under the blackout. Yep. Yeah. Fog yep. 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 Yeah, the fog is hiding. So. You can give me a notice roll when you get to that point. Is that everybody or just Augustus? Just Augustus. Seven. Uh, yeah, seven. seven. Yep. And um, five, really. Uh, whoops. Yeah. God, oh, yeah. I'm trying to unhide this now for you. So you can choose whether or not you want to continue on on that side or if you wanted to keep it over to because you made no control no i'm good okay you see a canid and and what that halo indicates is this sort of their their arms that are sort of floating around mm. around and, and grab onto things so when you see a halo for the canid you see this one has really long ones okay oh no it's a canid you see that there's a little bit of a, you know, there, that one has a shorter one. And then you see two more armed, you, know, you saw the two armed Oompa Loompas, and then you saw two other Oompa Loompas there. So um, the Canids were waiting. Everybody else has, uh, uh, see, who hasn't gone now yet? Mike has not gone yet. Mike's not gone, and Violet hasn't gone yet. But Violet's gone after the Canids and the... Uh, and Joe hasn't gone yet either. Okay, and Grandpa Joe can go before the Canids, but is going to go before the Canids, but after the, um, yeah, I mean after the Canids, but before the, the Oompa Loompas. So we'll keep keep that order roughly going. All right, so Mike. 
So Mike's going to see these, uh, this canid show up on the right. So he's going to flip both of his pistols out and take his two shots for his two gun, gun kit and his ambidextrous. Uh, minus two, you said? Um, yes. That's a... I'm going to go ahead and Benny that second one. Oh, man. Oh, so <laughs> six on one. Oh, man. It seems to be the uh, the streaming die roll curse. It's like a, some of these streaming games I've seen where people use their bennies. They seem to not be doing, doing things for them. Oh. <laughs> All right, so you got one hit on them. So you can roll your damage on. Oh, oh. okay. Wow. So um, you. Wow. Uh, nice shooting, Tex. Almost like you've had some practice doing this. Um, let me zoom in a little bit. Um, why is it not letting me? Well, okay, he's he is dead. My uh, ten, ten killed it. Uh, 16, oh, yeah. it's just the ten, right? It didn't get a raise. I'm sorry, I was looking at the wrong one. Yeah. He's shaken. He's shaken. I can't. Oh man, why is my roll twenty? Uh oh, I think my roll twenty. One of them froze up. Uh -oh. I can't select anything. Oh, wait, no, it's me. It's, it's user error. <laughs> uh, so I select the objects and tokens, and I click on it. There we go. Finally, it came up. All right, so he is shaken. There's a little shaken symbol. Um, by the way, if anyone, I, I put a little thing in that. If people looked at it already, it was the uh, my little status indicator thing, which so it shows what the symbols I'm using in Roll20 for the various states. And so I'm using yep. the, the snail for shaken. So, all right, so yeah, he's shaken. Sorry, yeah, you didn't kill him because you didn't get the, the, the 15. But that was a good shot. All right. Um, Mike went, uh, who else supported? Charlie support? Did Charlie support? Yes. And so did Veruca. All right. Uh, yeah. And Charlie's Ford and so did Veruca. And Augustus did his driving. And okay, cool. So this Knid is going to is going to move. One, two, three, four, five, six. Yeah. yeah. So, <laughs> so he's going to throw his little um ropey arms out. Um and lash out at the lash out at the vehicle, which um, misses because he's actually um, much harder to hit because he's driving so damn fast. So, so the canid reached out. Whoosh, swapped at it and maybe just sort of hit it and it sort of bounced off, but it didn't actually do anything. Um, Grandpa Joe? Okay, Grandpa Joe is going to take a shot with his... Oops, I forgot to... I'm sorry, I forgot to roll to become unshaken. Now, let, me, let me do that. Well, he moved over there anyway. That was my fault, sorry. I get so excited sometimes I just forget to forget to do these things. Okay, yeah, but it, all right, so he did succeed. Okay, yeah, now go ahead, Grandpa Joe. Okay, Grandpa Joe is aiming for the head, the canid. Okay. Trying to bypass his armor. Yeah. 
Yeah, Grandpa. <laughs> Boom. Okay. So even with the minus, with the so with the minus two, um, the normally that gets down to an eight, and then with the minus four for the headshot, the, that's still a success. So you got the headshot. Um. Oh. Okay. <laughs> wow. Go, she gone. <laughs> All right. Well, that definitely you know just decides and just completely <laughs> plastered the uh, completely plastered the guy. Okay. So. Um, um can I Veruca pulls out a business card, slides it over to Grandpa Joe and says, Call me. I might be looking for some help. <laughs> <laughs> All right. And then the uh it's the it's the the Oompa's turn. So they are they all have um these little Oompa Loompa, spe like special, they, they look a little different. They have these these weapons that look like sort of normal, um, sort of like sawed off um, rifles or shotguns or submachines, gun, but they just don't look 100% uh, right. So, um, but they're all going to fire. And I'm just going to roll them all at once. Good luck hitting us, you naughty Oompa Loompas. Oh, man. So, whoops, I should have done a... Um, I'll, do, I'll do one more roll. And add that to that last one. Okay, so nine minus two is seven. So there's three hits and one miss. Because they're because the truck's moving uh, so fast, it's at a minus two. So it's a five and five and an eight plus one nine minus two is seven. So three hits. All right. So they they hit the truck. Oops, I did that backwards. So. One doesn't do anything to uh, penetrate the armor. That one just hits. So, um, and now I'll just I'll do the other one as well to see if, if it hits. Okay, so you got one hit. So, the six um, explodes. Uh, oh, right, six explodes. Forgetting to put the uh, um, exclamation point on. Doesn't need any help. <laughs> <laughs> so um, fourteen. Um, yeah. So four, fourteen. That's a hit and a raise on the on the vehicle. So that. I believe then is a um, driving roll at minus two. Is that correct? No, I'm just a little fuzzy on that. Some of those driving rolls because I always make up things as I go along. Well, let's see what I roll. We'll see if it matters. <clears throat> okay. <laughs> well, it matters. Okay. <laughs> so he just did. He he basically shook it right. Is that correct, Mark? Um, actually, uh, did he it, cause a wound? Caused a wound. It's got a toughness of ten. Okay, so I failed so, yeah. the driving roll. And do I want to Benny that? Um, well, there's no minus to it other than the wound itself, so it's really just minus one. So I, I actually made it. Mm. Actually, what you should do, Mark, is go ahead and roll yeah. the critical hit. Okay. That's a three, which is a uh, guidance traction. The wheels oh. track sail. 
Use <laughs> handling by one each time this occurs. So yeah, I fail. Okay. <laughs> okay, so we're going out of control. So another two d six. You you can roll that one. Oh boy. <laughs> <laughs> Oh no! <laughs> Actually, that's, that's kind of good. So that's a glitch. Okay. The thing is jarred yeah. loose or breaks from uh, rough handling. The vehicle suffers a critical hit. So I got to roll another critical oh. hit. Yep. Which is a six. So it's chassis. So uh, okay. Oh, there we go. So what what's what's what comes loose, Mark? Um. What comes, right, no. <laughs> what what comes loose is um, uh, the, the the windshield sort of went fl flipping up. So if they're shooting from the front, they have a chance of hitting the driver or whoever is in shotgun. I hope you did not promise to bring back this truck. It is not going to make it. <laughs> I'm not I that. don't want to hear that. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so um, uh, uh, that that was everything. So we'll do a new new round. I will. I think Violet gets to shoot, right? Violet. Oh, wait, Violet, Violet gets to shoot. Yep. Yep. Uh, so I see the the other canid ahead of us. Yep. There's another canid, and there's two uh, two oompa loompas there. Okay, I saw what happened when Grandpa Joe shot the other one. Oh, Augustus was right. They're juicy. And I is one thing I hate. It's juice. So, uh, so <laughs> I'm going to shoot at the canid. Are you just going to do a single shot, or are you going to do no, a... Full uh, auto. Full auto. <laughs> All right. And it has a rate of three, right? Yep. One hit. All right. One hits. Um, Benny rerolls all the shooting die, all the the entire thing. It does. Remember, you're at a penalty though, because of how I'm driving. Yeah. I'll just take this. Seven. All right, so that was uh, that guy, which was this kind of. Weird. Oh, and it has AP2, right? Yes, so he is shaken. All right. Was that at the area, Canid? That was. Area Canid's dead. He's okay. shooting at the, at the standard. He's shooting at the standard line. Yep, yep. Awesome. So again, they're both like human size, but the one just has really, really long. You know, the other one has some long appendages, but the other one has really long, and it's sort of like you know they sort of lash out. So call all the all the all cars to turn on items. Here we are, and then if I order them again. All right. New, ra new round again. Okay. Uh, Augustus, you could do the same thing. If you want to, uh, if you want to, uh, oh, you're near the bottom of the order anyway. So, yeah, I'm gonna, wanna, I think everybody should just go. Whatever happens, yep. happens. Well, you are at the bottom anyway, so yeah, exactly. other than Grandpa Joe. They'd all have to wait otherwise and let the nids go. I think I'm going to hold my action and uh, support for the uh, the driving. Okay. All right. I just forget that I can do this. I can advance the, advance the order. Mike? Okay. Um... So I actually want to test against this uh, 
Oompa Loompa that's in front of us here. We're driving kind of crazy and firing guns everywhere. I think uh, maybe an intimidation roll to test them. Okay. Does that make them vulnerable? What does that do to them? We um, I have the uh, posed, I believe. Uh, yes. So I'm gonna go ahead and Benny that then, because I'm pretty sure that's a terrible roll. That was against one of the Oompa Loompas, right? Yeah. Oh well, yeah, they're a yeah. little more marginally better. They're a little more spirited. Yep. All right. Okay, so that was Mike. Violet. Uh, same thing, Juice Buster. All right. <laughs> so she's sitting up there on there, and she's like trying to mow down the. You're still like just basically shooting them all at the canid though, right? Yes. Well, can you can you split the the shooting guy across? The yes, you should be able to. Uh oh, can you, can people hear me? Yes, yep. sir. Yep. Okay, all of a sudden it got really really quiet, and I wondered if I, I thought I thought. Everything dropped off, so. Um, so you got two hits. Two regular hits because you're at a minus two, so the six becomes a four and the nine becomes seven. So that first one was on that canid? Yep. All right. You uh, you see that there's some green splatter juice and like the the little tentacles sort of quiver a little bit as uh, as it basically falls to the ground in um, uh... well done, Violet. Oh well, my! Told you they were juicy. <laughs> I got to fight for my, uh, uh, and then I uh, swing the gun over to the little collaborator for the second. There you go. Okay. All right. Well, that one, uh, oh, and that is AP as well. Okay. Yeah. So, um, 11 with AP two, they're, they're small, so they're easy to take out there. So Violet's been mowing down the guys in the front there. Um, bite right. size. Yeah. <laughs> bite size. <laughs> uh, so uh, Veruca, go ahead. So Veruca is on the driver's side, so she has a pretty good view of the remaining uh, Oompa Loompa near the front gate. So she pulls her diamond gold laser pistol out and squeezes off a shot. Okay. Is that minus two? Oh no 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 that that's not how that goes. I I <laughs> no. Veruca doesn't miss. Is that the Ver Veruca? I want to hit. <laughs> <laughs> he demands a reroll. I want yes. to hit now. <laughs> yes. Good, <Gah>, Daddy. <laughs> Well, do you still have your, do you still have your uh, Wonka? The golden ticket. I don't know if I I do oh, want to use the gold. The gold. Right. I don't know if I want to use the golden ticket. To, I'm already going to get into the factory. I don't need just, the golden ticket for that. Just blame the gun. Yes, if this if this sausage eating machine in front of me could hold steady, I would not have missed. Thanks, Augustus. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Well, there's no no knids, so um, there's uh, <laughs> there's three there's three oompa loompas right now. Um, 
Um, and it looks like two of them, two of them hit. With the hey, six Marv, minus. Did yeah. We, uh, did we get a Benny for uh, Shane's Joker, or how, what, you, what rule do you? I did not give out a Benny. It's true. I I, also, on my table, I I only give it to the person who got it. <laughs> I know. Who, who would change these what? rules? Also, stingy. <laughs> Mark is a stingy GM. What? What? No, no, I'm not. No, yeah, look. You see, haven't given out a Benny yet. Is that what you got? <laughs> I'm going to stop doing accents. I'm going to stop profiles. I'm going on strike. <laughs> All right. I'm sorry. That's my. Uh, I, that is my fault. Thank you for reminding me. Um, okay. So, uh, uh, so there. Everybody got an extra Benny Veruca. If you wanted to use with that to, uh, to re roll, you could. Well, I do want to hit. I want to hit. Go so, ahead. You're doing it. Yeah. Yes. Okay. In for a in for a penny, in for a pound. There you go. All right. That was it. Yep. So you That's hit. And roll a little damage. I took the car just so that you would hit. There you go. I I have to give credit where credit was due. That was some pretty nifty driving. Yeah. All right. So, so yes. Yeah, so the um, so you hit that guy and took him out because. Oh wait, does it have a? Uh, all right. Yeah, they're easy to they're easy to take out. So yes, you took out that one. So now there's now you've got a clear front like that clear front. All right. Who's assisting? I am. Uh, right. I want to persuade uh, Augustus to aim for the gates. All right. Oh, oh, actually, I have I'm sorry. windshield. I might go fly yeah. up into the gate. We'll be I'm sorry. Fine. There were there, there were still two hits. There were still two hits on the. Um... We were hoping you forgot. I know. I know. <laughs> <laughs> well, only only two of them should have rolled because like, already. Yeah. So. Oh, oh. So then uh, the second one was a uh, miss. Yep. Excellent. So, that, so four points damage, nothing. Nothing. All right. All right. So again, who is it? All right. So we got assisting. And I'm going to throw persuasion. Because I'm telling Augustus, let's go through the gate. And that's going to be at a minus two. Yeah, because it's like, oh, good, you guys, you guys, you guys, I can hear you. I cannot right. understand you, Charlie. What are you trying to say? I'm going to use a Benny. Uh, and I missed this last time, but I have a lawn, so I'm going to get plus two on this roll. There you okay. go. Somebody knows how to play the game right. Scott. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no. Come on. I think you put the whammy on him with that compliment. Yeah. <laughs> it's not too late for me to become a 5e player, Shane. Just watch out. Yeah, yes. <laughs> Early <jealous. laughs> yeah. Uh, All right. Okay. Yeah, I, I think Charlie tongue. bit his tongue. Yeah. Yeah. Charlie right, bit so, his tongue. Yep, yep. He's like, ow, ow. Okay. So I got this. Okay, is it me? Yep. Yeah. Okay. So I'm. I'm. Uh, sure enough, I'm heading straight for the gate. You want a driving roll? Yep. Your driving roll at minus two. Nobody's Let's helping you. Let's crash this party, Augie. I don't want to be that guy, but isn't it a minus three because I gave him a minus one? Yep. Let it go back. He didn't. Need, yeah, it was perfect. <laughs> <laughs> Completely. Bam. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, wait, I'm no, running right. through like the German army. So, um, thank you, uh, thank you, Mike, Justin. If you want, to, uh, if anyone wants to do that, they can. They can do it. I, I didn't set it up that way. I, you know, they, you can go into your character sheet and make a modification so that they can always ask for any mods. 
Um, but all right. So the thing is, Augustus, who goes driving you know, full on, he runs over the the green slimy body and sort of launches the vehicle into the gate. So roll. My eyes are closed, by the way. Oh, okay. <laughs> roll roll three d ten plus six on this on this gate, which is actually a pretty sturdy looking gate. Oh, please don't roll this truck. Are these exploding D10s or not? Uh, no. It's... Okay, so I'll use the die roller. Twang. Twelve. All right, so... How about, a, how about I've been it? Yeah, you could, you could do that. You don't want to get so sort of stuck there. No. Come on, baby. There we go. There you are. Pedal to the metal. Oh, yeah. So uh, you have smashed through the gate. I have smashed through the gate. <laughs> we did it. <laughs> Ding freaking dong. There you go for your for your um, aggressive accent and driving. It's so about time. Let me tell you. <laughs> 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 all right so uh let me get this up here and then that that basically gets you through the through the gate so um as as always with everything i do i'm always um trying to uh reveal areas reveal reveal there we go so there so you can get in and then you can just go in the door there's there's no nobody else here you you broke through the gate Luckily, you didn't have to, uh, you didn't get stalled at the gate, so you didn't have to use athletics to try to climb over the gate or anything like that. So, so you're, you're good. You basically made it right to the entrance of the factory. So that being said, it is 10 o'clock. So does anyone want to break for a few minutes? Sure. Uh, sure. Use a mile break. All right. So come back in about... Five minutes, maybe ten, but five minutes. Okay, just Ready to close the scene, though, just to close that part of the scene before the commercial break, I look yes. over at Charlie and I say, "You must not try to talk to me while I'm driving, Charlie. I'm trying to concentrate." <laughs> make sure we get this back. <laughs> it's an automatic, Augustus. Can't no. quit hitting the parking brake. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so we'll be back in a uh, few minutes.
this about how it usually goes, Mark? Yes, yeah. <laughs> Still trying to really get a, you know, the get comfortable with the roll 20 part, you know. <laughs> sure, yeah. I've been watching YouTube videos of Aruka. I'm trying to get the snotty better. Yeah. <laughs> right, I think you're killing him, man. <laughs> I'm back and ready whenever you guys are. Me too. Me too. Joe uh, Bergman's back on the air. Chelsea, are you here? Can you hear us? Does anybody know, is it just the Roll20 screen that's streaming? I, I, I think that we're stream, like if our picture, if we have our video going, that might be as well, but. Looks like if there's a link to open up Twitch. So. Yeah, we're all on there. All right. All right. Is everybody back? All right. So what's Ooh. the first thing that you see when you when you get to the uh what was the first thing you walked into? So beautiful, lush, uh sort of you know, tapestry of 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 flowers and fruits and and it all all made out of candy. And this oh, looks berries. Snozberries and so so there's all sorts of things. There's mushrooms, there's daffodil cups, there's um, you know, the big giant lollipops, there's uh, like I said, a huge a number of all these things. And the chocolate river. And the oh, chocolate no. river. It is the chocolate the, river where I almost it, met my end. It's the chocolate river. And uh, now you look around and you see that that there a lot of the things that you remembered. Are there, but unfortunately, imagine what it what like a candy forest would look like if it were left to to its own devices to sort of decay and over the course of twelve years. It's true, a lot of it's candy, so it's sugar, so it doesn't actually go truly bad. But things aren't looking that great. Uh, they've actually made some modifications. The Chocolate River is still there. You can sort of hear it rushing down below um and you see that um i could there... not resist a siren call <laughs> yeah <laughs> and you have to uh if you look around a little bit you see that well the um the river actually oops i didn't enough, enough of that So the river runs there. You can look around a little more. You see that the river runs there. So unfortunately, there's that, that Oompa Loompa who's there is sort of guarding the looking menacing as all the Oompa Loompas do. Somehow I think you're not actually as afraid of them as they think that you should be. But uh, Grandpa Joe wants to step forward and uh, try to humiliate the uh, Oompa Loompa. Like, You're a disgrace, Oompa Loompa. You betrayed Willy Wonka. What did the vermicious canids give you to betray your friend? All right. So, and this is a... actually chocolate, or is this your sewage system? I cannot tell. 
<laughs> the chocolate might not have the, the best smell at this point. It might actually be something else. It might not even be. It might be. It might be chocolate. Yikes. One, one way to find something out. Again. Yep. Until I must find out. I must know. Just, must just, know. just say no, big man. All right. So, for Grandpa Joe, are you give me that uh, intimidation roll. I'm using taunt. Oh, taunt. Sorry, sorry, taunt. Did you did you roll already? I don't see it. Uh, there. Not. I also get a free reroll on taunt checks because of. So I will go ahead and roll again just to see if I can do better. And I didn't, but I still have a nine. Seven. So you beat him, and he's like, oh, oh, so, uh, and, and he's like, ah, oh, I don't know. So he, but it's not. Oompa Loompa, oh silly song and dance number. And um, he uh, it's like uh, and and he turns and he starts to 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 run run across the rope bridge. Oh, and he's like wobbling back and forth, wobbling back and forth. Agility roll, wobbling back and forth. Yeah, and he barely makes it. He was like, he's like, whoa, whoa, whoa. And really rickety rope bridge. And he, and he makes it across, and he sort of disappears, disappears across into the, <clears throat> into the, into the sort of more, a little more lush area. So now oh. you know that the bridge is really not very stable. <laughs> Perfect. Well, I wonder if I can't stabilize that up a little bit before we try to cross it. Hey, Veruca, why don't you go first? Uh, of course I go first. Everybody get out of my way. <laughs> <laughs> you might want to let me take a look at that first little lady. Fine, fine. Mark, I'm looking for a way down to the river. Oh. <laughs> All right, you can use athletics and climb down if you want to. Maybe about right there. Okay. Augustus, uh, it I don't smells know like dark wise. chocolate. <laughs> <laughs> wow, Augustus is very well. When he's going for chocolate, there's there's no stopping him. So. I have mastered the river of chocolate. I am its master. <laughs> All right, so uh, so you're down there, and you can smell it. Actually, it does. It does actually smell mostly like chocolate. Yes. Yeah, I don't care. I'm eating it. <laughs> All right, there we go. <laughs> so. All right. Okay. Um, I'm gonna dip my sausage in there too. Okay. <laughs> oh, God. Not a good need to focus and find Will. All right. Give me a um, a spirit bowl. Who? Cause you, you, Augustus, because you're so into it. You're sort of. I was afraid you'd say that. Drinking and drinking and and. Uh, <laughs> Oh, he's, a, he's barely, barely holding on. He almost, almost dumped in for a complete repeat of what he did last time. But I have mastered you. <laughs> so now, okay. uh, help me get this guy away from this chocolate. We've got work to do. You can <laughs> eat later. I'm, I'm on a big sugar high now. I'm, I'm ready to go. All right. So give me a, give me a vigor roll, Augustus. Oh, no cast iron stomach there. Oh, okay. It might be the diabetes. <laughs> <laughs> so, um, 
So yeah, so there's something not quite right about that chocolate. So it's, it hasn't been creamed and sugar in so long. It, yeah, there's 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 probably you know like sort of separating cream cream that's 12 years old, some old sugar. The chocolate's okay, but there's also a little taste of motor oil and things like that in there. So oh, I, um, I, you I uh, do not feel so good. No, you have a level of fatigue. So excellent. <laughs> Hey, if you're gonna be Augustus Gloop, you gotta drink from the river. Of That's right. <laughs> Grandpa Joe, right, don't right. you have like some tums? <laughs> uh, oh, okay. See. So you, everyone's coming over here. They're seeing a little more now. I'm gonna reveal a little more. Mike wants to see if he can't uh, repair that bridge up to stabilize it a little bit. Um, all right, that was, a, uh, that was a horrible use of that unhide. Yeah, the unhide on roll 20 is a little to be desired. Yeah. There we go. So you can, you can see a couple things over there. Um, all right, so everyone now can see that, like, oh, look, there's, there is more, there's, there's the candy seems a little better preserved on the other side. So Mike, you will be able to do it, but you don't really have the explicit means to, you know, to, to get the materials. How would you, what, what do you want to do? Do you want to just, you can do it at a minus two with no real materials, but, or you can try to try to get some materials to do it. I'm so overconfident. I'm just, I think I can do it with the minus two. Awesome. Um, can I assist with survival? And I've got some uh, knots that I've learned that could help shore up this bridge and you know tighten up the the ropes a little bit. So I, we can get I, I want to harvest some uh, giant candy used to wedge it or stable. All right. So definitely, you can use the survival. Um, if you just give me a um, a fighting roll to hack at at something. Five, so success. All right, so uh, so Violet went and cut down some stuff, and Charlie used some of his survival with some of his ropes, helping Mike out. So Mike, you get a plus two on your roll. Okay, so a plus two and the minus two makes that a zero modifier. And a six. All right. Um, so so yeah so you 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 stabilize it so actually it's 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 really a lot a lot more stable it's not 100% stable it's still an agility rolled across but it's not at a minus 2 like it was with the Oompa Loompa who ran ran across and was and was and the, you saw the thing swaying back and forth you know that it's actually holding somewhat well um Veruca is standing behind you with her arms crossed across her chest, tapping her foot sort of impatiently, like holds her hands up. Like, I'll go are, first. You, are, are, are we done here? Are you done yet? Can I go? Yeah. Can we go Veruca, forward, please? The bridge is ready. Thank you. Can I please go forward now? Out of my way. Out of my way. Your harness. Uh, agility roll. Yep. We'll go. How about we go there before I get too excited? <laughs> Whoop. And there, you, and uh, there you go, for forcing your way across first, Veruca, and always having to be first. Yes, you do get another Benny. So, okay. Bada boom. <laughs> I I got a follow. Oh, so. Phase the gum bill. <laughs> okay, Augustus. So you need to make an athletics roll now to get back up, or you can try to swim across. Can I? Make a move there to reach out and grab Violet and pull her over. Veruca, uh, sure. Uh, agility? Um, athletics. Athletics. That would make more sense. I just crawled up the cliff. 
Mark. <clears throat> yeah, but you're at a minus. You're at a minus one on that. So. Yep. Violet, this okay. way. Let's go. Okay. <laughs> so so you got so you got Ruka got Violet across. Augustus is. He looks nowhere near as uh, deft as he did when he was going down to get the chocolate. Somehow leaving chocolate is not easy. <laughs> so, so he's still struggling to get up. Um, everyone else going to cross? Yeah, Michael, cross. And I'll go after Mike. Charlie, we'll go after Mike. All right, so Mike and Charlie both make it across. Yeah, I will attempt to cross the bridge now. August, Augustus is still struggling to get up. No, I got a, I got a four. No, but you're at a minus one because you have the. It's, um, it's built in. Oh, you did put it in. Oh, okay, good. I'm sorry. Thank you. All right, so here's here's to cross the bridge. So you did make it up. I did. Yep. Yeah. So here's cool. across the, the All right. bridge. Oh, I am so across the bridge. All right. <laughs> he looks looks down at the chocolate. He walks towards the chocolate. That gives him the energy. And then he just doesn't look the down trick. at the chocolate. The trick is to wait the All right, bridge down. Go. It needs balance. Right, Grandpa, go. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I just waited it down. <laughs> Grandpa Joe's crossing the bridge, but he's tapping like the board in front of him to make sure it's safe enough to step on him. All right. No, that's not right. That's okay. Let's sorry. Sorry, I made a mistake in my little deck. I think. Okay, so now you see the um, uh, number of uh, things around you. You see some various little daffodil cups. You see the mushrooms. You see some of the um, uh, the, the lollipop things. You want to go do what you did 12 years ago and go explore? Uh, or do we, we, have a purpose. we need to find Willy Wonka. He's the one that can stop this. Yeah, I'm not too sure about this old candy. Let's uh, get on with it. I want some candy. I want it now. <laughs> Willy will be there. Faruka, come with me. Let's get some candy. <laughs> you mean Violet? Did you learn nothing? Oh, I'm sorry. You yes. know. Come on now. I learned to watch out for those geese. I learned that this room is perfectly safe. And I thought you were talking to yourself. I didn't know. Fair enough. And Veruca goes over and grabs one of these, or tries to rustle down one of these big old suckers. She's like, yes, I like this big one right here. The bigger, the better. Which one? Uh, that, that big old one right there. Oh, okay. All right. So, um, so, trying to fix my one little mistake that I made here. Come on. There we go. Now, now this should work. All right. So now you see there's another little, um, Awesome. And this is Veruca. All right. So, what did your card say? Can say uh, candy. Um, I think I just seen the back face yeah. of the card or the back of the card, not the face of the card. Can you flip it? Yeah, I cannot. Oh, come on. 
Uh, this card show cards back. Players see front of players see front of cards. It has all the cards there. All right, I'm gonna try to then here. I'll I'll just do deal one out this way. Radio. Um, can I just drag it out onto the? Should be able to just drag it on, right? I think so. Yep. Come on. Where are you? This is not here. I'll deal one to to me, and then I'll put it on the. Oh, something was wrong with my deck. That's annoying. It has the cards in there, but it says they were there, but didn't keep them. I apologize. No worries. All right. Oh, yeah, it did. It, uh, Veruca will look over a Violet and give her a wink and be like, this one's going to be awesome. You want some? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Okay. So, um, and then she turns around and goes, "You have to get your own." All right. Give me a, <laughs> a, a, a give me a one d three roll. Okie dokie. I know. I know you're gonna take one lick, and I'm gonna end up carrying that all day. <laughs> well, you know, after after somebody's had a lick, it's not worth having anymore. So Uno. Um it's that one that's right here, unfortunately. Can I do that? Can you read it? No, of course you can't. Gotta zoom a little. I'm zooming in. Uh oh. Poison. Oh fiddle to do. <laughs> yeah, that one that one's not that's not uh Ugh. Should not eat that where's, one. Where, where's those tums? <laughs> okay, so roll vigor or one D2 whoosh. Zoink says I. Yikes. <laughs> uh any mod any negative modifier or just straight up? No, no, just straight up and it's one to two. It's a critical failure. You get two wounds, but if it's it's a failure, you just get one. So well, uh, I have a discerning sweet tooth. Uh, so with my nine, I think it was actually not poison at all. Oh, okay. So <laughs> you put it out. Ugh. This one was yesterday's candy. I want today's candy. Yeah. <laughs> was it not tasty and yummy? It was actually pretty yummy. <laughs> This I'll break off for later months or for years. We need to get going. Yes, yes, that. of course you're right. Any, anyone want to try anything else? It's all very enticing. I'm yes. gonna break off a piece for later. Okay. After my stomach ache stops. All right. Grandpa's going to. Uh... Put off a length of red licorice, you know, to use like his oh. rope if we need to. Come on, uh, look at you know how old Grandpa Joe is. It would be black licorice. <laughs> <laughs> that was there black licorice in there. I know there was red licorice. I know there, I was, <laughs> there, there was red licorice ropes. That is very right, smart, sorry. Grandpa Joe. You can never have enough rope. That is very smart, Grandpa Joe. You're very wise. Excellent. So, um, yeah, so you have, say that you're able to get uh, 20 feet of, of licorice rope that you can wrap around and, and, and keep with you. Perfect. All right, Is anybody? Lupa sitting right there. You know, it looks like maybe there is. So... But he's not, not doing anything. Who are we looking for here? Are we looking for Wonka? Yeah, we're looking for Wonka. I'm, okay. Let's capture him and interrogate him. Yeah, Mike's going to waltz right up to him.
try and grapple him. Make right. him eat the candy. He squeals like a little piggy. <laughs> <laughs> okay, you go up to him, and uh, he's sitting there, and, and um, he's got his, his, his sort of gun by his side, and you go up, and you can grab him with no problem. Now listen here, you you best tell us where Wonka is or else. Into the river with you. Ah, uh, he says. Ah, uh, oompa loompa doopity dee. I've got a puzzle for thee. Mm. Well, spit it out, plain. Four, four precious places he can be, which do you want to first see? One is the, one was the room where you became small. One is the room where Charlie did almost fall. One is a place where, where Violet became blue, and one is a special place known not to you. Ooh. So we have Violet. Notice he didn't mention the uh, room with the golden geese. Maybe he got the maybe he perfected the gum finally. Tempted to say repeat room, yourself, a little man. So like, maybe Mike can find some more of his exploding candy. <laughs> Loompa Loompa, why have you guys why have you decided the canids? They tortured us. And told us that if we didn't, if we didn't help them out and do what they wanted, that they were they were going to uh, not just they not just kill us, but kill all, all of all of us. There, we, we went back to our island, and uh, that that Wonka Wonka got us from, and um, uh, and, and there, there's a number of Oompa Loompas there, and then but then the Kinids came and. Took them over and threatened to kill all of them if we didn't join their side. Well, we'll take care of the Kinid, but you need to tell us exactly where we can find Wonka. He's one of those, one of those four. I think he gets moved around. Is he being guarded or is he on the run? Is he hiding? He is, he's being guarded. Do you have any Balumpas that are trying to rebel against the Canids? Um, some of them are, it might, it would take more work to, I mean, it would, you could try. Um, some of them may uh, join with you with, I, I'm, too sleepy right now, as you as you start to realize that he's he's basically telling you this because he's sort of on an incredible sugar high. Too many mushrooms. Would want to join you. Some some of them did actually enjoy picking up the weapons and 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 trying to trying to go against uh, you know. And basically, you know, they didn't like the idea of people eating the chocolate and they were feeling overworked and so they they they're enjoying it but most of them don't most of them are doing it under duress so what are our choices again the, 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 uh, the inventing room tv room right the inventing room the fizzy looking drink room and the special room The inventing room could be cool if, even if we can't find Wonka, there might, you know, that's the way that 
man was uh, crazy or had all kinds of his crazy inventions, there must be something valuable there. I mean, useful. Yeah. It does not sound very <laughs> yummy, though. It does not sound very yummy, though. Well, I, you weren't there. He had bubble gum that was a whole meal. That was 12 years ago. Can you even imagine what he had now? He'd probably have, like, Thanksgiving dinner bubble gum. I do like Thanksgiving dinner. Pumpkin pie. You might turn it into a pumpkin, though. I love, oh, well. <laughs> more. <laughs> well, more pumpkinish than he already is. <laughs> okay, Charlie, where should we go? Yeah, you're the lady, Charlie. It was your factory. That's true, Charlie. Let's go to the inventing room because, as you said, worst case scenario, there may be some things that can help us with this quest. There you go. Like a plan. So let's go to the inventing room. All right, and who all took pieces of the uh, of, of various flower things and stuff like that? Uh, Grandpa Joe just took the rope licorice to use as rope or. Okay. Um, Chuck a sucker, lollipop. Okay. Use, use it as a hammer. If you want to try it at some point too, you can. Yep. Pretty focused. Just don't roll a one. Basket, yeah. <laughs> I'm still getting over my right now. Yeah, he's a, <laughs> he has a little bit of his. Uh, so you're going to the. Uh, I'm inventing. inventing. Oh, oh. Room. it didn't didn't go over there because. Inventing gonna... room. All right. We go and there's a little, little, basically you wander through some tunnels and you find a little door and you get to a, a, a door that, that opens up with a big giant sign that says, Just about under out. all circumstances, keep out. Slugworth, that means you. Uh, I'm not going to let a sign door. stop me. Charlie, if you're not going to push your way in, I'll push my way in. I'm going to let her push her way in. I push my <laughs> way in, then. Okay. You push your way into the door that, that seems and, to be locked. And, oh, and I turn around and look sort of <laughs> angrily at Violet, and I'm like, why didn't you tell me the door was locked, Violet? And then I nugged what were kind of waved my hand at her and asked her to come forward, asked her to come forward and I whispered to her, when we get in there, keep your eyes open for anything valuable. Anything that he doesn't have a patent on, we're grabbing it. Got it. Augustus, you're a big man. You can kick this door open, right? Almost certainly. Grandpa leans next to Charlie. It's like broken violence, a marriage made in hell. Can I try the you door know, handle? <laughs> boom. I'm doing it. All right. So, uh... Outhouse kicked the door. Okay, yeah. So, it's not a, difficult door to, not a difficult door to kick open, so you can kick open the door. Well done, Augustus. Yes. Now it get is, out of my way. It is, it is, <laughs> <laughs> Oops, that was so, so you see. Hey. <laughs> down there, there's some uh, some corridors, and you see like. Uh, so what are, what are you doing as you see that? You're gonna look down the corridor. Or you, what are you? Uh, how are you reacting? I guess I would pause for a second and try to glance around, look uh, to see if 
Well, and I guess to see if I saw the man in the purple suit anywhere. If not, look for anything that looked shiny. Okay. And I... You see some, like, looks like there might be some posters on the walls. Um, you, you, it looks, it's a little dark, not too dark. Um, um, you're looking and looking, and then occasionally you see actually a um, not very far in front of you. You see right there a little steam shoot out from across, you know, shoot out like across the across the room. Does it does it appear to be dangerously steam? Like we're I gonna do some Indiana looks, Jones thing? It looks pretty hot and unpleasant. To the right, it is. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> and they, so the corridor to the right is a, appears to be uh, s less uh, scalding. Uh, you you stop and look for a little bit, and you don't see any steam coming out of there. You do see, you know, if you're looking again, you see more. You see a steam that occurs way up here as well, but not any that that occurs on on this path. Uh, I think uh, Violet or or I'll pu push Violet forward and say, "Let's go this way uh, to the right, uh, where the direction Violet is is going now." I would I would kind of nudge her that way, away from the steam that was blasting into the main corridor, over to the right. Okay, you come up to a, a door there. All right. Um, where, 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 where's, where's Augustus? Augustus. Uh, I am here. Uh, hey, remember that cool kick thing you did before? That would be amazing if you would do it right now. Please, pretty please. Is anybody going to try the doorknob? <laughs> What's the what fun in that? <laughs> There is, it's, uh, I like, yes, 4,000. <laughs> All right, Grandpa Joe, there you go. So, <laughs> I'm assuming you did the math correctly. <laughs> All right, so you go and you kick, so it didn't even try the door to see if it was there. You kick the door open. And he yells, I'm starving. And you see there's like an Oompa Loompa's cowering in the corner. Uh, ah! I found another Oompa Loompa. Ah, wait. Don't need him. Don't hurt him. We can, maybe we can get some information from him. Yes. Can I hurt yeah. him a little bit and then get the information? I like the way you think, Violet. <laughs> All right, so Violet, what are you doing? Uh, I, I guess grab this one too, right? I'm grabbing every Oompa Loompa I see. Okay. All right. Uh, every, everyone is just observing Violet. Grabbing yep. the Oompa Loompa. All right. This is like a video game where we go in and every time we touch an Oompa Loompa, he runs off with his hands in the air like, I'm free! Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, <laughs> well, this one... Um, all right, so... Uh, are you going to do, do by that? Like, yeah, I'm going to, like, uh, grapple him. He oh, okay. So you're going to hold him? All right. Ah, ah, and he's and you know it's go ahead give me a fighting roll at the basically at plus two because he's flailing about giving him a hug simple success well, is not against the parry uh, oh yeah I don't know what his parry Um, to get a success, so don't you? Good. Well, it depends. So, did I succeed or not? 
just a sec here. Wait, I lost my lost my paper. Um, may not even need to roll if he's just yes. sitting there. Yep. He seems a little bit resisting, but not too much. So that was exactly what you needed. You just really needed to not roll snake eyes. All right, so you've got him. And he's, ah! Rupa, have you seen Wonka? He's, he's not, he's not in this room. Not, not here. No, 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 not here. Where he could be. He, he could be in the, uh, in the, in the, 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 the dark room. But you can't, you can't get him. You, you can't get him out. He's, he's too, they're, they're, they're blocking, they, 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 they have him, they have him in, in a cage and, and you can't, it, it's just held above the ground and you can't get him out. We got but we are tall and you are tiny. We can reach up and get him. And he starts, reaches up and he's like, jumps a little bit. Yes, and you're he, tiny. He looks over at uh, Mike TV, who actually is was stretched out. So from the uh, when he was uh, when he was re um, remade tall again, they sort of went a little too far and stretched him a little bit too much. And uh, they look at him and they're still like him, maybe, but it would it would hurt hurt your hands. And, and where is this room? How do we get there? It is, it is, it is through the room with the, 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 uh, the drinks. Busy looking drink room. What did you mean by hurt, it, hurt his hands? By touching the cage, we'd hurt our hands? What's, what's holding the cage? Charlie, if you were Charlie, did you ever hear of a, a dark room of when you were here with Wonka? Uh, I don't. Have I heard anything about? This? Um, let's see. Charlie, give me a common knowledge roll as to what you were, what you sort of remember from that time, because you were given a, like a more extensive tour. Got a five. Got a five. Yes. And you're like, yeah, you sort of do do remember something about that. You know, he was he he had his he had his um uh it actually was in, in conjunction a little bit with the with the Wonka Vision Studio. He realized that he he never could get that. He couldn't get that sh the the thing to not shrink people down, so so what he was doing was he had this big giant dark room with, um, and he was making these big like enormous pictures. So if he couldn't actually transfer people across, what he could do is he could at least send people immediately printed pictures by basically making a giant like photograph then sending it through his Wonka vision and it would come to you as like a normal size photograph but that basically made this big giant room with a big vat of um the you know the the developer and things like that Wonka facts yes <laughs> <laughs> So I'll go ahead and I'll, I'll relay that to the group that I, I do remember a, a dark room. Um, it, there was something weird with the, the Wonka vision, um, and he, he would make these really big pictures to send to people. Uh, I think that might be the room that he's talking about. Okay. And, and that's where the cage was. You remember how to get there? Would I remember how to get there? Um. Well, yeah. So, so yeah. Give me another common knowledge roll. See if you remember how to get there. Or 
You need one of those uh, little whistles where you. And... Actually, and Grandpa Joe can make it too because he he went on the tour with Charlie. So oh, okay. I mean, he did tell me that it was past the the fizzy drink room. Would there be any kind of uh, bonus for that? Maybe jogging my memory. Um, that's what's getting you to make that roll. So sounds good. Oh, cool. Yeah. So, um, you do know that you can get there either through the, you, you could actually get there through either one. You do know that there is a way through the Wonka vision studio itself. So you could go through the fizzy lifting drink room or the studio. You have to go through one of them, but you don't know. Uh, it's it's your choice. Is this the this is the uh, Wonka Studio, isn't it? This where this room is, or where this area is? No, no, the Wonka Vision Studio. So the where the where the, where the giant TV. Thing. Is the fizzy drink room where the gum was? No, you're in the room where the gum was yeah. right now. now. Oh, okay. Yeah. You just haven't found, you know, you haven't explored any, so you haven't okay. seen where those where those vats are. But um yeah, the fizzy drink room was the um the the one where they went up into the ceiling. All right, guys. I think we need to go back and we need to find the fizzy drink room so that we can find the dark room. Right. So find the gum. Okay. Right. We need to find something useful in this room, and then we can go rescue Wonka. Violet's got the right idea. For a change, yes. So like, I, feel like, I feel like you're manipulating, but you have a good Was that Veruca? Like, it's like, I hate to admit it, but Veruca might have a good idea this time. <laughs> She, Veruca kind of bristles at that, but also smiles a little bit too, pleased with herself that everybody agrees with her as they should, but a little disappointed that I should I shouldn't have to explain myself to you. I'm gonna go ahead and ask the Oompa Loompa. Uh, do you think there's anything um, that could help us against the the Canids in this area? Oh, that, there's 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 a lot of things. They're 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 converting a lot of of Charlie's inventions into into weapons and things that. So the candy is actually is actually a weapon. The, uh, this this right here, for instance, and it sort of points to this this vat, and you see it's this this it looks like a. Um, a big vat of a swirling liquid, and it actually looks like this this rainbow of colors that are swirling around in there, and it looks somewhat somewhat viscous. So it has a uh, you know uh, it's not like water, but it's it's almost like a like a um, syrupy kind of thing. Actually, Augustus, you give me a. Uh, a common knowledge role with your all your food knowledge. It looks like some sort of syrup. Yes. <laughs> and yeah, that, that's sort of about the best that he can come up with. But he says it's right here. Uh, I believe this is a um, is used to coat to coat things. I think that they're the 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 Canids, they're planning a a more a bigger invasion, but they realize that they're not as fully protected as they could be. So I think they're trying to use this to make themselves stronger somehow. I'm gonna, so we need to figure out a way to fight candy. I'm gonna go ahead and candy yep. coat my jacket. Vegetables. Candy coat what? My jacket. Your jacket? Okay. So um you dip it in. Yep. All right. Um 
if you give me a D20 roll. All right, so you dip it in and you pull it out and it is bright blue. It is bright blue and it has this, um, you, can, you can sort of see this steam rising off it and you can see it sort of hardening up a little bit, but it's, it's both hard and soft at the same time. And it's definitely a lot thicker. It's it's sort of like almost a uh, it, it almost now feels like a uh, when you touch it like a bright blue maybe you know a, a fruit leather. Okay. You know, fruit leather. <laughs> <laughs> fruit leather foot. Does it um, augment it in any way? Uh, it definitely feels heavier. <laughs> All that sugar. That looks sticky. I don't like it. Yeah, Let's just move on. on. Yes. Monkey is waiting. <laughs> Let All right, let's keep going, guys. All right, yes. so who... Grandpa Joe was looking around to see what he can find. Um, well, the, the, uh, there's sort of a door closed on that side. Augustus, you want to open that door going out that way? Yes. Or Can do you want to go? Just open? Yep, that door just opens. I'll just open it. That's not fun. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so you... You go and then you see some steam go psh out there like that. And you see that there's a oh oh and then if you look out then you also see there. And this guy comes out with you and says, Oh, this is the con this is the I don't know, like talking with the <laughs> this is the control panel. <laughs> because now I talk like Augustus. So, <laughs> um, so like oh, yeah, this is the control panel where we where we make modifications to the uh, to the uh, to the to the coding there. And he says, "How does it feel?" He points to you with the um, with the blue coat. It's um, sticky <laughs> and heavy. Oh. It's, it should feel start to feel good, and he goes up and he and he puts his hand on it, and he and it feels you know he's like oh yeah, yep, and then he goes, bam, and he and he sort of punches it, so uh, <laughs> he sort of punches it, and and you can feel that that actually um, uh, protects you that 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 doesn't feel nearly as as hard as. It should have, even though, even though the Oompa Loompas aren't super strong to begin with, you sort of saw the force he was putting into it and he whacked on it. And uh, so you have an extra point of armor while you're wearing that coat. Nice. All right, so you sure you don't want anything else? And he sort of points off in the other direction. I yeah. want something. What <laughs> else do you have? Well, we have Jesus. <laughs> we have um, over over here. Over here, we have. Um, and he's, he walks, starts walking away, and uh, starts coming over here and sort of violent after him. You know, it doesn't wait for anybody to say anything. He just keeps going. He said, he "says Oh, there's another one. Another one here." What does this and, one do? And he's like, let me, let me, and he twists a couple of dials and you see this glass open, open up. And there's two vats there. And the, you can see one is 
they're they're both like steaming, but with sort of like different kinds of steam. One of them looks like it's incredibly hot, and the other one looks like it's incredibly cold. He's like, we were working on some uh, icy hot candy that when you would eat it, it would alternate with super cool peppermint and and then cayenne pepper, and it would go back and forth. And depending upon which side of your mouth you put it on, it would be either really hot or really cold. And these are the two vats that would make the candy. And then we'd pour it out and it would go into, and we'd make these little candy lozenges of them. You want to try one? And he hits the button. And you see this little ding, ding, ding thing come out. And it's a little pink on one side and, and blue on the other. Uh Almost before he even offers it, Vi uh, sorry, uh, Veruca reaches out and tries to snatch it out of his hand and say, yes, of course I want it. Oh, okay. All right. Thank you. Um, you're, you're, you're welcome. Oh. I don't know. It fully been tested yet. Violet, would you like one? <laughs> <laughs> does, it look, does it look like gum kind of i mean sure it does sort of look like gum it's got it's it's like it's um you had me at sort of yeah okay. <laughs> <laughs> you know it's got like sort of a sort of a thick lozengy but not flat lozenge so it could be soft and chewy much like gum Pop that all right there. so so you decide to to chew a little bit? Yeah. All right. Um, oh, that's bad. Give me a spirit roll. As you're chewing it, you're like, oh, you're like, oh, 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 whoops. And you um, accidentally, um, all right, now, and then give me a, a, a roll of a, of a through tails. I think I think Violet should get a plus one on any gum chewing. Uh, yeah. <laughs> yeah, like a one to two. Or a minus one. Okay. Ooh. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> All right. So she's she lets out this big huge burp unfortunately she lets it out right in charlie's direction so um roll 2d6 cold damage on charlie oh you do uh -oh. blast of frosty oh no So, so Vara just burped a blast of super cold wintergreen mints onto Charlie. Oh my god, that's awesome! <laughs> oh, sorry, <laughs> Charlie sickle. <laughs> so Charlie seems pretty frozen right now. Um, what would you like to do, Charlie? You want to try to uh, soak some of that? Yeah. Uh, currently, my, my toughness is a uh, eight, so that would be a hit with three raises. Up those three wounds. Oof. I dropped my uh, Benny in one of the dark areas. <laughs> <laughs> We're all in a dark place right now. <laughs> all right so you got one i'm gonna go ahead and spend a i'm gonna spend my last benny and i'll get a plus two for elon with that one there you go okay oh uh, it was still not that That's great six right yep so I was two wounds. i've got two wounds so uncle joe is gonna use or Grandpa Joe's going to use his healing skill to try to figure out how to warm Charlie back up. And All right. Um, 
I do have a first The river day. of chocolate was very warm. Disturbingly well, so. Can you can you burp some hot air on him and help yeah, him? Yeah, well, give me a second. <laughs> yeah, what can I don't think wrong with that one? So, yeah. um, Violet, Violet, make a. Uh... Let's not do that. So, uh, so Grandpa Joe, you, but you're, you're going to use some. Some other people have some med kits, so you're going to need to use somebody's med kit. Okay, use mine. Okay. So yeah, you can. Oh, so you, so you, you healed him. Over those heat packs. Yep. So he's, he's back to back to normal there. Violet, give me a smart roll. This you can make it a plus one because you know your gum. So. Grandpa. Grandpa Joe, you're going to have to reset that. It has been 4,380 days since our last unintentional accident, son. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it has been zero, zero days. I think, I think this is a near miss. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> well, no, no. It, it definitely did it. It's just Grandpa Joe was, was really good at getting you getting you better there. So, so Violet, you realize that when you're chewing it, when you were chewing it and when you um, uh, let that belch go, it was on the left side of your mouth when it felt a little cooler. And as you're chewing it and it goes over to the right side of your mouth, it actually feels really, really hot. So you're going back and forth, but you can go back and forth between the two. Do I think wow? Well? I'm sorry, I didn't, that, that you sort of broke up there. Do I think it's going to last for a while? You think that it will, uh, yeah, it, la it will last for at least a couple more. You don't know exactly how many more, but you have a feeling that there, this is some good stuff. It's got, it's got a lot of flavor. It's like if you were chewing this as gum, it'd be one of those ones where you wouldn't worry. You could start it early in the day. And then the flavor would last well throughout the day, as opposed to some of those gums where you try to chew them, and only after about 20 minutes, the flavor the flavor dissipates, and it feels like you're you're chewing cardboard. This is on the better side of the two. It's not exactly gum, but you you can sort of just you can sort of work it as if it's gum and keep it in your mouth. Anybody else who who has who wants one has to occasionally make a um, an agility roll to not accidentally swallow it, and that and and you really want to have swallowed it. Yeah, because then it really will come out the other end. So, <laughs> <laughs> um, so do you like it? Do you like it? Is it good? It's good. I let me wait. Let me take some notes. And he sort of like gets his gets a little notebook and he and he writes down. And he looks. He looks at Charlie as Grandpa Joe is bandaging him up and he's writing and he's like, it's like, oh, okay. I think, oh, I think that, I think that's, that, that frostbite doesn't look so good. That, that might be, that, that might be some of the coldest that we've, we've gotten it. I'd say we're, we're close to calling this one a success. I, I, I don't know about that. <laughs> so. Well, you've got that big sweater on. You should be fine. Uh, so I, I guess uh, Veruca will lean over to the Oompa Loompa and say, so the first room had one vat. This room has two vats. Where's the room that has three vats? To the Oompa Loompa? Yes, because... Three is obviously better than two. There's there's only there's only one one more one more bat. She kind of sticks out her pouty lower lip and is like, mm, "This you call this an inventing room? This is the worst inventing room I've ever seen." And she kind of turns her back to him, pouts. Well, um, I well I'm. I'm sorry. I, 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 uh, I mean, this was, I, do you want, do you want to, do you want some of the gum? I, I mean, do you want some of the candy, the, 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 the fire cold candy? Do you want, um, well, of course, of course I want some candy. And she oh. 
turn turn without turn she without even turning her back she just kind of reaches out her hand palm up like just put some candy in my hand but i'm not even gonna look at you okay so he pretty reluctantly pushes the button and a piece comes out and he very gingerly puts it in her hand there well thank you i suppose and She's like, so she leans over to Violet and says, any pointers before I go in? Grandpa Joe, you look, look away, look away. Uh, <laughs> yeah, that's a good. And, and wait until you need it. Oh, oh, that's smart. That's Grandpa Joe. That's good advice. I'm going to listen <laughs> to Grandpa Joe. <laughs> and Violet, that's also good advice. I'm going to make sure to look away. It's nice to have friends. <laughs> or at least people that know you. <laughs> what do you mean? <laughs> In the aren't the same. <laughs> people you pay to spend time with you? Is that what you mean? Yeah. <laughs> Oompa <laughs> One more. All right. Can so, well, I'm sorry? Uh, you mentioned there's one more. Can you show it to us? Oh, uh, sure. It was over there, and uh... can I reveal that? Come on, reveal. There. And he and, uh, says, oh, over here, over here, we have yet another one. I, I don't fully know what this one does, but it's, it's a big, big bat. Reveal, polygon reveal. Oh, that's right. There we sorry. There we go. And it opens up, and there's another Oompa Loompa in there, and he's like, looks like he's working on it, working on this big giant tank. So, doing says, I, I don't, I don't really know what this one does. Should I, should I push the button? Yeah, push the button. Okay. All right. Pushes the button. And then this Oompa Loompa looks at him and he's like, <laughs> all of a sudden he's like, no, 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 no. And, and, and he runs, runs this way, runs sort of into the darkness. And then you, uh, there's a, a lot of steam coming out the side. It's like pouring, it starts to pour out that top, the, 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 you know, it's basically, that's like a valve that sort of gets broken on the top and you see not really steam, actually it looks, it starts off as steam, but it then starts to become this foam, this, it's almost like a uh, meringue that is coming out and it is starting to fill, fill the space, fill the space there. And uh, it's starting to come up onto the windows, and you see the Oompa Loompa. He's pushing some buttons, and he's trying to trying to to get this, trying to sort of get it to go away. He's like, I think, I think this is this this might actually be part of the thing that supplies the um, the. This might be some of the gas for the fizzy lifting room, but I, I'm not sure. Or it could be a new kind of candy. Or um, maybe it's best if we actually. Run, so he starts to. Oh, I want to taste the meringue. I love meringue. Okay, <laughs> so um, um, Augustus, would you like to wait uh, for the meringue to break through the glass there? Please. Mark, yes, I would. <laughs> Grandpa, Grandpa Joe is like, I'm following the Oompa Loompa. Yep. Yeah, my. 
All right. So, uh, what's okay? So, so he's there. All right. Um, you guys get around the corner, and then you hear this boom sound. Um, Augustus, give me an agility roll as the the glass breaks around you. All right. So, so you get hit with some broken pieces of glass and uh and machinery i just know or, glass candy yeah so <laughs> i'm shaking you're just, you're just shaking okay just so shaking. You're, boom but then you see the, the i'm doing this now <laughs> quick give a sausage and it is it look it does actually seem like it's uh uh something something pretty good you taste it it actually does have a have a really a really nice taste to it um what are you thinking about right now uh i'm thinking about how wonderful rich meringue would take away all my fatigue from my overeating of chocolate earlier <laughs> <laughs> and meringue Miraculously, it seems to do that. So, <laughs> <laughs> now you you do think that it was like it didn't really happen that way until you it didn't happen until you uh, thought that it's just magic wish foam. So. What? <laughs> yeah, I'm luring everyone in. It's I, a honey I, trap. I want a goose. I want a goose. I want a goose. You want a goose? All right. So, um, so Augustus, give her a goose. <laughs> Maybe a well, sudden a fortune show up. Where's my X card when I need it? <laughs> <laughs> so, um, uh, you say you want a goose, right? I, I wish for a goose, and I have a mouthful of the of the custard. Was cust? I'm sorry, uh, meringue. Thank you, meringue. thank you meringue. very much. It's a mouthful of meringue, um, and you you look. You look disappointed because it doesn't really seem like you. There's a goose that's showing up for you. <sighs> well, I'm gonna walk away contented. There's always, there's always the golden egg room. Some meringue. <laughs> she walks and pelts and stomps away. <laughs> Anybody else trying it? Are you no. just all? <laughs> no. Okay. <laughs> I've seen the things that Augustus puts in his mouth. <laughs> <laughs> all right. That's fair. So, uh, uh, but it is still continuing to flow. Out, so, if you. What the heck? Was that me who did that? Oh, no, that was Grandpa Joe. He was trying to. I don't think yeah. that explicit images on there, which is unfortunate. You know, I, I wish you could. So, um, um, so the Oompa Loompa did say something about the steam pipes may go towards the fizzy lifting drink room, and I is if we don't know how to get there, could we follow the pipes? Or good did, idea. I can't remember if Charlie knew how to get there. I, I don't remember. Well, that will get you there without without any sort of. Um, yes, you can do that. You can follow those pipes. You can see the pipe that goes there, and you can you can sort of follow it and then as you go around you're like oh okay so now you know you know you know which direction exactly it should go so you're not going to have any sort of confusion get lost go into any of the other sort of uh um you know sort of weird rooms and you can go into the um you can find the fizzy lifting drink room right on right on charge right. Oh wait! As we as we go by here, uh, Mark. Yeah. I, I, I'm assuming there's a little oompa loompa in there trapped against the glass. I'm, I'm yeah. gonna put my hand. I'm gonna put my hand up against the glass. 
Do you say the good of the many? <laughs> I do. Great <laughs> out of danger. I uh, just I just wave at him and pull away into the next room. He says something to you, but thankfully through the glass you <laughs> so <laughs> we'll pass on the Oompa Loompa vulgarity. Yes. <laughs> Onward. All right. So you um let's see if I Got you in here correctly. Nope. Do that. I just want to go over a couple of different colors. Okay. Anyway, I will get you to that room. You should be able to see the ones that have your colors on there. Mm -hmm. so here is your room. Here's the room. Oh, that's why they accidentally put them on. There we go. So there's a, um, you see a lot of uh, these, these, there's, uh, uh oh, I'm getting an echo. Is anyone else hearing the echo? It looked like it was coming from Violet. All right, so the, the, there's a bunch of things here. Each one of these, it looks like they have a number of uh, drinks in them, and they they have different labels on them. They have, you know, they're they're all intermingled with each other. You see a bunch of bottles on the on the ground. They're on the floor. You hear this boom, 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 boom sound, sort of. That's it coming. There's this big tube right there that's sort of near to the ground. That's what this big circle is. There's this big tube, and it's about like six or seven feet above the ground is where that tube ends. So you can't really see up into the tube, but you can you can hear the tube there. It seems like they've made some improvements on the fizzy lifting drink room. But a bunch of the different bottles have names on them, like. Drink, don't drink, really don't drink, not so hot and getting warmer. And so there's a bunch of different, like I said, there's a bunch of different bottles and there are different colored liquids in them. Um, or you could just, and you could grab some if you want to, you can um, try them, you can go see what's, what's going on with the big tube, or you could try to circumvent everything and go down the lower right and and go past the um, go past uh, go past it all and try to get onto the final room to the uh, to the to the willy room so that you at least you think is the dark room the dark room and getting warmer drink do you want to get a drink yeah. all right Which one? Getting warmer. Getting warmer. All right. So, take a sip. Let's wash down the meringue. Who, who is that? Who is that? Who is that? <laughs> that was uh, Augustus getting a drink, right? Mm hmm. All right. So, take the getting warmer and you look around. And all of a sudden, it seems like Augustus is getting taller. It's getting taller, ah. taller, and taller. And you look down, and you're like, Augustus isn't getting taller. It's that his feet are above the ground. And he's sort of floating above the ground. Ooh. You know, I'm going to, I don't know, but I'm going to, given what the Oompa Loompa told us, I'm going to push off, uh, or maybe I'll even get, uh, 
uh, Charlie to walk me over to the tube so I can look up the tube. All right. Grandpa Joe has a rope he could tie around you and float you. Oh, like good a, point. I'll be uh, like a blimp. <laughs> <laughs> so you want to do that? You want to tie the? Uh, tie yeah, the I'll take a. I'll take an end of licorice. I want to go look up the tube. You go and look up the tube, and you as you start to hear your head, boom, 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 and you look up and wrong. Okay, again, I'm on the wrong one. The suspense. Let's try this again. Baruka, I assume you want to take the really do not drink. Nobody tells you what to. I was thinking about weaponizing it. <laughs> All right. So, um, uh, Augustus, you look up there, and it does. It's the the fan starts to pull you up, but as you look up there, you see the biggest canid you've ever seen in your life. He has swirling, um, swirling. Like, like appendages, and it's actually a pretty terrifying sight. So, uh, you should give me a fear roll right now. Never fear, Augustus is here. <laughs> it's, like, it's like we're looking up, and <laughs> so is it is it like floating up there, or is it in a cage, or it's it's actually. It's. It looks like it's leaning up against the, the 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 fan enclosure. It's it's not actually getting chopped up or anything. It's actually reaching down. It looks like maybe actually what it's doing is it's reaching around and it might actually be working on something. It might be trying to repair it or fix it or modify it in some way. It's actually. Uh, you know, doing a you know some some work up there, and he hasn't quite noticed you yet. Smoke grenade. I I think oh, real I grenade. Think... <laughs> <Both>. <laughs> How powerful is the suction, Mark? Um, you know, it's pulling you up. Yeah, I'm gonna uh, quietly uh, look down at Uncle uh, Grandpa Joe, and. Uh, Point to the, you know, give him the throw the grenade symbol sign. Up to you, Jake, Grandpa Joe. Grandpa? You muted. Yeah, I say, yeah. <laughs> well, I'm going to. Pull myself down on the licorice rope and get the heck out of the tube while he does this. Before he does this. All right. While while they're doing that operation, can can Baruka go grab a jar or or a bottle of the really don't drink drink, yep. not to drink, but to just hold on to. Yes, yes, you can. So. Okay. Okay. So Grandpa Joe's gonna take a swig of his. So which one did you take? Uh, the getting warmer. Okay. So uh, same thing. You start to lift up because you remembered it from before, and it's a similar feeling to to what you had the last time you were in the, in the factory. So floating a little on the ground. And Grandpa Joe will wait until he's within, you know, a reasonable distance. You know, grab the pin from the grenade and kind of lob it up into the pan. All right, so it sucks it up. Um, can you give me an athletics roll? Okay, wow. Okay. All right. Man. <laughs> <laughs> so he's like, bam, and it actually hurls it around and it, and it, and it bounces off the one wall and it goes flying across and it bounces off the other wall and it goes straight up to right where he is. So um, if you want to um, 
Give me a 3d6. Actually, it's a 4d6 roll. Full of 19. Okay, yep. 19, 19 points of damage. All right, well, it is definitely um, hurt by that. Um, it's not dead. It's definitely shaken and um, Grandpa Joe is going to kind of burn if he can send like the last time. What's that? Oh, you're burping to get down? Yeah. Okay, yeah. <laughs> uh. <laughs> What's it do to the housing, Mark? The What's tube that? and the fan. What does the explosion do to the housing, like the tube and the fan and all that? Does it bring it crashing down on the canoe by any chance? Um, well, that is actually a good point. Um, it does sort of break the, the break the housing a bit. Um, maybe suck him up in it. Ah. It could be sucking him up in it. Um, Grandpa Joe, are you gonna look back up one last time to see what's going yeah, on? I want to look back up and make sure the dark overlord of the universe is getting sucked back to the Nexus is ominous. Well, sure enough, actually, it, it, it broke one side of the housing and the canid starts sliding up. Uh, along that broken part, and he gets pulled in. You see that it starts to chop at a bunch of his um, his various tentacles. Lets out this horrible, horrible blood curdling shriek. Um, it doesn't seem like it's pulled it all the way in, but it is now like incredibly, incredibly wounded. It did another another wound to it. You know that uh, looking at it, it's, it's, it's sort of lodged itself in a way that it won't go any further, but it's pretty much at uh, a death's door there. All right, so yeah, I'm just gonna keep uh, descending as much as I can. And like, anybody else wanna take a shot? I uh, can. Oh, it did. Did that blow a hole in the side of the tube where we could lo lo stand outside and lob it in into the tube, or do we have to go underneath the tube and then sort of? You do have to go underneath. His throw was so perfect; it was like dead center on the canid up at the top there. That's where it, it exploded right in the exact center. All right, so Ver Veruca will look at the really don't drink, fizzy lifting drink, look over at Violet, shrug her shoulders, and run underneath and toss it toss it up and say, I don't let's see what this does. Wonka has a sixth sense of humor. All drink, right. drink some of this, poof, and throws it up in the air. Okay, so you're, did you, did you just throw the, Full bottle, or did you open the bottle and throw it up, or did well, you? I guess I assumed it was a glass bottle. Yeah, yeah, it's like a glass bottle, but it's got like a stopper on it. No, I guess I didn't take the stopper off. I okay, so you figured just threw it the bottle up there. Up. It hit. An exp My intention is that I would throw it up. It would hit. The glass would break, and and uh, calamity would ensue. Okay, so you throw it up, and you um, you. You, it hits it, it hits the the um, uh, fan, and it it breaks. It shatters. You see this spray come out, and it and it gets on the on the canid, and it's it's a little hard to tell. I mean, you're looking at this thing. It looks pretty horrible. You probably would be making a fear roll if it weren't so sort of beat up and looking so helpless. And it has these really wide eyes, but somehow its eyes get even wider and wider as all of a sudden it starts to slide 
along that that broken part of the enclosure, the part that it thought that it had lodged itself very well, but now it seems to be finding itself much, much lighter and more ethereal and less able to control where his body is, and it starts to suck further up, 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 and then all of a sudden, a series of blades just start chopping bits and spewing spewing green stuff like way up high out of the uh out of the top of the um the, the factory right veruca yeah. turns around with a rather smug expression and then gives a little a little dap to uh grandpa joe it's like good job yes. <laughs> <laughs> all right so uh so yeah so that and then the the fan you, you you hear the fans slow down and get and then it just kicks back it finally kicks back up to full strength and and starts blowing blowing air again so all right uh shall we get to wonka yeah yeah let's go lead on All right. Uh, when he said, "When he said, really don't drink," he meant it. <laughs> All right, you come in, and there are. Get you over here. There's a um, you you get into this room and you see that it looks like a bunch of photo equipment. There are these other these vats with these other chemicals going on in here, and um, you you don't. I'm just gonna you know I didn't hide this, but um, you you sort of know that there's a door over here. And that's, you know, Charlie's going to say that, oh, over on this other side, there is a, um, that's where the sort of big sort of dark room kind of thing is. But I'm going to hide it for just a moment. And didn't mean to hide everything. <laughs> this is the dark room. Yeah, it is. It is a dark room. So, Turn on my flashlight. <laughs> there we go. I just hit reveal areas. Why did it not reveal it for you? There we go. All right. So, um, so there's, as I said, there's there's some some uh, things going on now. You do hear around the corner you hear a lot of sort of wet slapping sounds that are um, that sound like the the flapping of the of the knid feet we need to be ready to ambush them <laughs> 